Good. Glad yeah. to right hear. Right here, right now. Glad to hear you're so, already. Mm -hmm. uh, did we come to a conclusion already about whether, whether we were going to long rest or short rest? There were pros what, and cons. Uh, what for is each, your take? But... <sighs> I mean, I know that long resting is risky. It didn't seem to go so well for the last group. But I I think we're going to have a bad time trying to do the rest of the dungeon while those ghosts are there. Well, I think we can have the rest of this conversation in a moment once we've begun, don't you? <laughs> yes, absolutely. I No, that's the wrong voice. Yes, ah, uh, yeah. God, you were, you were close, you've, 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 ruined you've, ruined you've ruined it. You've ruined it. I've got it now. There Let we go. Let what we're going less. to do is we're going to take a long rest because that is the longer rest and longer is better. It pairs from certain circumstances. For example, drives with your uh, family in law when there is an awkward thing that they don't want to talk about. I feel like you're going slightly. Zimni and uh, anyway, that is, that is possible. <laughs> Good to have you all here. I will admit I am slightly tired, but it just means you'll have to be patient with me, but not with Max. Speaking of, let's meet our party. Last session, our adventurers, Kat, K, Curve, Romulus, Vinny, and Max had spent the better part of a week travelling towards an abandoned giant's fortress on the eastern side Sorry. of the Taros Mountains. Just Sorry, west Max of Zeke. Zay... one of our adventures? Yeah, he, he was there last session as well. Now in the party. He's been there for like a day. I... Uh, my Max. After, my a, after a scuffle with trolls, close encounters with dragons, the discovery of a ghostly blacksmith and the tales of a small family of pale orcs, the party finally arrived at the fortress. Therein, the party investigated the dead bodies of a group of adventurers who had yet to decay all that much. They had apparently, for some reason, been here ahead of them. After seemingly concluded that the giant corpses that littered the place were harvested for their blood crystals, the party was beset by a blood-drift presence that wasn't too fond of the party within the fortress. Defeating it, the party earned the right to wander the halls, discovering words of power and more giant bones above. With the night falling, their friend Max spoke to the giant skeletons and awoke them. By accident, of course. With the party fending off the giant ghosts that arose, the party has now decided to, t to try and rest as best they can in one of the towers, as the heavy rain and wind continue outside. The weather remains heavy, and is continuing to get worse. Were it not for the tower which you are otherwise residing within, you would find that this weather would be rather more dangerous for you currently. But those of you who are travelled on mountains or similar terrain would understand that in this terrain, with the high winds and the heavy rains ahead. Why is that one not playing? That's odd. Okay. Well, you get that one instead. I forgot I need to turn all these down because I switched some stuff around. No. Okay. For those of you who are more familiar with the mountainous terrain, you are would be aware that this current weather would be freezing at night, and without the proper campfire, you will all find it getting more and more difficult to sleep. Now, as you all sit inside of the tower, what decision did you come to regarding the the night's rest? Long. I am, um, I w God damn it. I will abstain, but I do believe that a long rest is acceptable, so long as myself and Curve 
uh, are able to take the first watch if necessary. Sounds good to me. Um, just remind me, does this tower have any, like, defences? Other than the big cannon on the top and the walls itself? I thought there was some talk of, like, magic. There was some yeah. runes. The, well, in this one specifically, there was a rune. Yeah. You look at the wall where there's a kind of a very clear carving of of what was once a giant rune, but it's any traces of magic have since faded. Is that because of us? Yeah. Make sure we've got copies of these. We have. I've already copied it. I've copied the three of them we found so far. We gonna just try and hunker down then for the night. I hear no objections. Okay. Seems like a good idea to me. Okay. I'm really struggling not to go back into the stupid voice. I would suggest that we set up whatever defenses and warnings we can before bedding down for the night. I can suffice on just a short rest, but I suspect that others of us will need a bit longer. Yeah, Anything we can do to secure ourselves would be a good idea. Trying to fix okay. the heavy rain. I, I what have... do you think? I, I think we should. I haven't got anything that we can secure us. Hmm. No, no, they're ghosts. They can just go through stuff. Hmm. It's a little bit more challenging. Huh. Mm. Well, what about the presence? That couldn't walk through solid walls as far as we're aware. True. Okay. Um, which tower are we? We're all sleeping in this one. All in right. this way, um, yeah. We shouldn't split up. Okay. If we go, if we go to the top of the stairs, I have in fact got okay. yeah. fifty foot of hemp and rope. Um, if everyone can kind of like sort of like cat's cradle almost the top of the stairs, so the rope is going almost like bars across the top of the opening. Okay. Uh... I'll, s I'll say, looking at the moment, you can see where all kind of the heavy rain is falling. You can see that a number, uh, an amount of it is otherwise running down to the bottom of the stairs, where it seems to hit some form of kind of natural gully of some form in between the stones um, of the tiles below. I'll say also from this angle, and given that your light is currently still up, you can make out what looks to be the light glow blue of a corpse right at the base. Okay. All right. So, if we can get two people either side of the top of the stairs and basically hold this rope in like a complicated S-shape to essentially make like a rope kind of cage at the top of the stairs and as we get into shape I'm going to cast Lock State okay. on it. Should act as a sort of pseudo prison. Okay. So, who will be helping with this test? Wait, you're doing this over the stairs? Yes. Lockstate made a object immovable. The ghosts can just 
walk through that. Yeah, but we were talking about the spectre. The presence, yeah, but can't that just reappear anywhere? As far as we know. I'm pretty sure I did see one sink through the ground. The ghost we did, I don't know about the presence. I... Go ahead and roll a... Uh, Wait, I swear it wasn't the ghost or the presence? Magic. No, no, it's no. different. The presence Arcana? was what came out of the body, but the ghost is sort of like when the body's up here glue, uh, glowed blue, and the ghost came out. But the presence was in the physical body that was down here. Someone's welcome to make a... Um... Arcana or history check if they want to try and recollect if anything right. like that happens. So Kay's doing I... that. Yeah, yeah, that's cool. Okay. Can, Can I, I do, do a history? Uh, if he did Arcana? Oh, so I you can do a history do... check, yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, no, don't fuck up, cat. That's 13. 25? How much oh, was that, Kay? 13. 13? Okay. Um, the two of you did relatively well, and given that you were both present, I will say, Kay, you didn't get the best view of it, but you did note that it wasn't exactly solid, Max. And Kat, as you're kind of coming up with this plan thinking about it, you do remember it kind of turning into vapour, and then flying past both of you. So it's hard to say, you know, if the lock state will help, but you can certainly try. Yeah, well, yeah. Don't worry about it. I don't okay. think it's gonna work. Let's let's stay in the tower and just try and keep as quiet as possible. As long as we don't alert anything, we should be fine. Mm. Uh, I will uh, because of previous experiences, I will have two rats stay up for the night and have the uh, goal of if anybody falls asleep on their watch, they are to bite them. Okay. Jeff is going to be hovering in the air, just at the bottom of the stairs here. Should anything come within range of him or anything change down here, he's to alert me and instantly flee. Okay. Of which stairs, sir? Um, where is there currently where he is. Okay. He's here. Okay, so with that, you are now proceeding to t attempt to make take a long rest, correct? Yes. I believe so. Okay. Mm -hmm. Who is taking first watch? I will take first watch. Okay. Uh, uh, note, I will be lighting torches and shit. Okay. Uh, Greetings, okay. traveller. Ah, hello, Gav. Did you everything cut now? Yeah. Uh, did you want to join Romulus on the first watch? You are taking a long rest, no. by the way. Uh, yeah, that's fine, Brody, so I've just been called. Yeah! So, so you were lighting how many torches, Romulus? This is called. Let me double check. How many do I have? How many do I have? How long they last as well? They last an hour. Okay. Uh, sorry, so we are taking a long rest? Yep, currently. And Romulus and somebody else can take the first watch if they want, or Romulus can do it on his own. I am lighting one torch for me, because okay. I don't have dark vision. Okay. Go ahead and roll me a d20. If you roll lower than a 5, your torch is too wet and smothered and will not light. Well, fuck. Okay. Oh. The torch lights happily. Provided you do not leave the sancti sanctity of this 4x4, four four, your torch will remain lit, as the heavy weather and heavy winds will be enough to put out a torch easily. Alright. I will play, I will make sure that it is upright, and uh, I will move some shit ar around it, if necessary. So you're, to you're, keep putting it on, you're putting it on the ground? Yes. Okay. I am placing it upright and then placing other weights and things. Probably, you know, my some of my smith's tools, not smith's tools, carpentry tools, and uh, I'm sure I have a box or something. I, just whatever I have. Something that's heavy to hold enough. it up. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. That way, I've got my hands free, but I can also see. It just okay. seems that. 
and I can pick it up if necessary and without too much trouble. Okay. Is anybody else joining Romulus on this watch? Um, sure, I'll join him. Okay. So, place yourselves accordingly as to where you would like to rest. And we will begin the first watch. Is there anything you'd like to do during this watch? Or just keeping an eye out? Mostly keeping an eye out. If we if we want to chat for a bit, I'm fine with that. But I, I probably won't want to chat too much in case you know it activates the ghost trap card. I think I'm going to be, you know, keeping an eye out. But uh, uh, any free time, free moments I have when say cat is is looking out, uh, I'm going to be reading through the the book the book we have to try and pick up more giant and learn more runey shit okay yeah i'm gonna uh i will be i'm not focusing super book. hard on it by the way this is very much just like uh i'm just flicking through keep have looking my eye on it i am trying to make sure i'm not too distracted from actually keeping an eye out yeah yep. same okay I, I'm, I'm literally just gonna see what spells are in this book and that is pretty much it okay so with both of you lacking to a certain degree, Dark Vision, even though you've got Jeff. Jeff is busy. Jeff is busy. He's watching. So I would like both of you to make me a perception <laughs> check with disadvantage. Because even though you have a torch, it is still heavy rain out there. It's and true. Shall I make one for Jeff as well separately? Uh, yep, yeah, make one separately for own... make one separately for Jeff. And Romulus, if you wish to maintain this torch, you are going to need to use up mm -hmm. three of them over the course of your watch. I do not have three. So, I'm afraid to say. Okay, so. Yeah, as it may. So, what are your perception checks, please, with your disadvantages? Mine is two, Jeff's is 18. Mine is six. Okay. <laughs> Jeff is pulling his weight. Yeah, Jeff with, is working hard. With the, with the darkness setting in and the heavy rain, the two of you sit there and watch for a while, but you're unable to really see all that much outside of it. Uh, Cat, please go ahead and roll me a d12, please. Oh, that's exciting. I'm a big fan of that. What else d12? Green? Yellow. Five. Five? Hmm. Okay. Alright, I need to roll a d12. <laughs> Suddenly an exorcist turns up and dispels all the ghosts. <laughs> we won. No, but as you're resting, noting all of this, there is a moment as you are resting there. Um, otherwise, keeping an eye out as best you can, you see what looks to be kind of this light blue haze and glow for a moment. Coming from? Uh, roughly straight ahead of you. What, like, like on top of this tower or in yeah. the... Yeah, on top of the tower. Now, remind me, actually, because Jeff is over here, isn't he? Keeping an eye out on this area. <laughs> so... It seems yeah. funny to me, because we're using a random owl token for, for Jeff, as opposed to the Jeff token. No, that no, is no, the that Jeff is token. Jeff too. Yeah, there's a that's a crystal that's, that's a crystalline owl, and then there's the crystalline parrot, oh, which is so original it is. Jeff. It's much harder to it's easy harder to tell on the on the owl because it looks on... so owl like. Because they do just look like feathers. Yeah. yeah. No. Okay. Your watch concludes. And we Who all would die. like to take up second watch? I'll take second. 
By the way, uh, can I take the benefits of a sh of a short rest now? Uh, not yet. No. Worth a try. <laughs> okay. So, K, you are up. Yep. Okay. Move that. On your own, please go ahead and make me a perception check with disadvantage because of the heavy rain and wind. Looking out into the distance across the area here, you don't notice anything in particular that stands out at all, because you're otherwise kind of keeping a general eye and surveillance on the area. You see the faint blue haze kind of grow and rise and fall almost, not commonly, but every so often. As you are otherwise keeping an eye out, there's a moment where, Cat, you are awoken from your sleep. As you hear, as you hear the words, It's back! It's back! From Jeff. Um, well, I'm assuming as soon as something's changed, he's he's abiding by the get out of there. Yeah. Right. Okay. Cool. So you he'll be can darting straight back to me. He did. And I am waking Romulus. And there's high winds. So currently, Jeff is 300 feet in a southeasterly direction. Okay. Fine. <laughs> well, we worked out there's no As Jeff area is an owl of... in stormy weather. Okay, well, there's no... We worked out there wasn't a radius for me to snap him No, so you can. Back. I'm going to snap my fingers, and with my other hand, I'm going to shake Romulus. Okay, Jeff returns. Wait, 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 wait. He, he's uh, back. I don't want to wake up. No, get up. Apparently he's back. Who's Do I now get the benefits of a short rest, Chris? No. Okay, keep an eye out. Okay. Um, if combat begins, we'll do the benefits of a short rest. Okay. Alright, what's going on? I will find out from Jeff where he was back. Rough location. Down by the stairs. But the stairs by you, where you were, or the other stairs? Yes. Yeah. Is that by you or the other stairs? Yes. By you. Yes. Okay. Okay, so last it was seen, it was back by the stairs over there. I can't send Jeff in, I can't risk this yes. getting free. We do nothing. No. I think that if we don't interfere with them, they probably won't try and attack us. I think it's worth lying low. If they make a move on us, that's when we make a move. All right? Okay. Um, so from this point on, I'm going to keep Jeff by us, but also on watch for anything that's out of place, anything that moves that isn't rain okay. or leaves. Dust. I, don't how, up here. I, I don't know how pedantic I need to be because Jeff is Jeff sometimes. So with that Okay. The rest of your watch yeah. goes by uneventfully. Nothing particularly catches your attention except for the kind of the light blue nature not far from you. Uh during my watch. Mm-hmm. I set up another command with a couple more rats mm -hmm. to watch Max. To watch? If Max leaves oh, okay. or tries to leave or anything to, t to wake me up. Okay. 
Okay. Uh, Your rats oblige. Go. You got yeah, it, boss. Okay. We'll keep a click close eye on that bun. And just st mm. the two rat, the two rats, kind of climb on top of the bed and stare daggers at Max, who's currently curled up in cat's lap. Good. And Th those I'll rats sleep. will be exhausted by the morning, but it's fine. They're rats. They can sleep. They can sleep after. So, Curve and Vinny, you two are up last. Mm -hmm. uh, Kevin? Is there anything you would like to do during your watch? Uh, I can... Do we need dancing lights? I don't think we do. There's, there's limited visibility anyway because of the rain. Yes. So I don't really have much of an effect. And we don't want to draw any attention to us, so I want to cast a net. Uh, I don't want to do anything that could attract attention or distract me, so I'm just going to be watching out. Okay. Uh, I would. Curve would. Oh, Carol? I was going to say, Curve would try and start a conversation. What do you think of that, Max, eh? He looks kind of similar to the ghosts, but. Ghosts don't normally sleep. Plus, Max. Him off the side. That feels a little uncalled for. Really? He was uh, being a bit of a, a bit of a knob, if you ask me. Well, I mean, if you if you think you have reason to believe that he was doing that on purpose, then it's another matter. Well, does it matter if he's doing it on purpose or not? It's affecting the team. If you feel that strongly about it, you could just ask him to go away. We don't have to kill him. But asking him to go away feels mean. I mean, he's asleep. If, if, <laughs> if you drop him off now, he won't even know. <laughs> anyway, I think Cat would be upset. Look, I mean, he's not causing any trouble at the moment. Now we know to keep a closer eye on him when he's awake. What if I just tie his legs together? <sighs> How is that not mean? You guys aren't any fun. <sighs> no, I guess not. Curve drops it. Okay. Gonna not back. The conversation. I'm just gonna take another look back at Max and make sure he's still sleeping. As well. <laughs> yeah, Max is quite happy. It's quite easy to see Max, thankfully, because he's a glowing blue rabbit in Cat's lap, so mm. it's hard to miss him. But with that, I'll say go ahead and roll me your perception checks with disadvantage for the rest of your watch. Okay, totals? Twelve. Six. Twelve and six. As the two of you are keeping an eye out as best you can, it's difficult. The heavy rain makes it difficult to see anything. And with the glowing blue, that's the only thing you can really see. It's a kind of a light teal blue, same as Max, as you otherwise kind of sit there and watch it momentarily, looking out across the area. The rain doesn't let up. Not at all. As you otherwise sit there keeping watch, I would like one of you to go ahead and roll me a d12, please. Do you want to? Or? Uh, yeah, sure. Five again. Okay. Again. Nothing really happens. Your watch is uneventful for the time being. Uh, 
as your watch otherwise comes to an end. The long rest now concluded, there is no morning sunrise. High in the mountains with heavy cloud and wind otherwise overtaking you, with the chilling air biting into each of you, I would like everybody to go ahead and roll me a constitution saving throw, please. Uh, Romulus and Oh my Kat, god, the sun didn't rise. Oh, Romulus and Cat, because the two of you were disturbed during your watch, thanks to Jeff, uh, you mm. receive a minus two penalty on top of whatever con save you would have. Cool. Okay. So, Vinny, what did you get? Uh, 21. Okay. Despite the cold, you are used to being near colder climates. Granted, warmer, humid air from the ocean is nice, but the occasional cold bluster that comes through in storm can badly affect you, but you're used to it. You shrug off any, po any chance of exhaustion affecting you. Okay? 15. 15. You again feel... You've been through cold temperatures before. Times when you've been on your own, huddled, curled up in a corner. You have been through worse weather. You shrug off the point of exhaustion. Curve? 19. 19. Although you are not used to the cold, you're used to the lack of a fire. The constant nature of being on your own and your natural heritage giving you a bit more of a warmer interior you feel more comfortable through the night and manage to stave off any forms of exhaustion cat can i use my inspiration to reroll this you may okay cool because that wasn't great i'm i'm fine to not reroll because i did get a 16 but i do want to ask <laughs> this is my turf. do i get any benefits for definitely having gone through exactly this before um, no, not in this instance. This is just... Worth a try. This is just going to be I, one of those flavour things, so... What did you I get? I still got a 16 after all 16, minuses, so... 16, yeah. You're... Bit, given that you are used to the mountains, this isn't an uncommon sight. This is something that you are used to and you otherwise weather. In this in this instance, you feel fine. You stave off the cold. And cat? Negative a lot. Well, remember, you get to choose the higher when you use your inspiration, so... you Which was your higher? Oh, right, it was, uh... Three minus two, was it you said? It was so minus two, but with your constitution okay. saving throw on top of it. Oh, right, yeah, so. so that was a grand total of two. Okay, through the night, despite having Max in your lap, you get the sense almost like your heat has been sapped from you and you feel cold to the bone when you wake up. You suffer a point of exhaustion and... Uh, da, 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 da. I need one of these. And your hit point maximum is reduced by five. Oh, cool. Gosh darn it. Why can't I need to lose max hit points? <laughs> okay. Cool. Yeah. You feel cold to the bone. You feel uncomfortable. Almost like something sapped your life. Not necessarily the surroundings, but something else. Awesome. Okay. Just... You wait. I know it might not do. Uh, I know it might not do much, but the moment I realise that cat is cold, I am going to take off my uh, dire bear mantle and wrap it around her. Okay. I will give you a choice here then. And I'm going to say this will be your choice here, Romulus. You can, in this instance, you will not mitigate the point of exhaustion. That's already in place. Mm -hmm. But if you Fair. wish to attempt to warm up Cat and in place take her penalty, you can lose 5 max HP instead. To clarify, that would uh, fix itself upon my next level up, right? Or not level up, my next long rest, right? You don't know. You gained, you gained it from a long rest. You don't know how you're going to recover it. Right. Uh, I can take five hit points a lot harder, a lot better than uh, than than Cat can. Yeah. Um, okay. So, taking off your shawl and equipping the item for the time being. Granted, intimidation is probably not going to be that useful here. Um, well, you never know. Might need to intimidate Max. You. <laughs> I'll use my incredible charisma. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Whereas you otherwise put wrap the shawl around Cat, there is a 
moment of warmth that begins to fill you, and you almost see, feel like you've inherited a curse, strangely enough. So, Cat, you do not lose your 5 max HP, but Romulus does. That's fine. Thank you. That was... That's a cold night. Okay. Don't worry about it. <clears throat> Hi, I'm Max. Hi, Max. How are you doing? Good, thank you. Nice weather. Could be a little warmer. It's very cold. I'm warm. Good for are you, you, Max. Max, if you're warm, uh, can I? Would you mind if? Are you warm to the touch? I feel warm. Would you I'm mind warm. if I? I'm. I'm going to put a hand over, over and attempt to pet Max. Max kind of nuzzles his head into your hand. He is, is about Max the size warm of your hand. To the touch? It's warm, like any fuzzy creature would be, like you would be. Excellent. I'm going to. Max, would you mind? Uh, I'm going to just, like, place Max on uh, Cat's shoulder. Mm -hmm. um, and basically, would you mind staying there with Cat and uh, staying close to keep her a bit warmer? Max otherwise looks at Cat. Hi, I'm Max. Good morning. So, give him a cuddle. When Max ends up betraying us, um, I just want you to know that I had no in-character way of knowing that. It's just, I feel like it's going to happen. I hope he doesn't. <laughs> Max just comes in with like a vampire bite on your neck. <laughs> and it's like, oh my god! But see, a vampire bite is just two buck teeth. It's just, just like a chisel's been slammed into her neck. <laughs> uh, anyway. So, what would you like to do? Is there a new preparation we need to make? Or... Are we going to just get started? Well... Um, hang on. Jeff. The skeletons don't lie down there. And has anything changed? Could you quickly have a look? Be cautious though. You're quite quiet. Oh. There we go. Sorry. Right. Better? Right. Cool. Yep. Um, I forgot I moved my mic because I was drinking a drink. Um, I'm going to send Jeff down. Um, can you just, just be very careful? Make sure nothing's changed and the skeletons aren't glowing. Righto! Okay. <laughs> Flay like. <laughs> Snap my finger. Poof. Right. Fly very low to the ground. Right. From your dexterity saving throw a disadvantage because Jeff is a tiny bird and it is very windy up here. Natural one. Well, the odds are not good. Cool. Well, <laughs> okay. Uh, how many hit points does Jeff have? One. One. None. Now. Okay. Okay. I thought we should add hit points to Jeff just because, you know, he's a hero. Body. Nah. You all watch as, as best you can, you watch as Jeff flies off this way, keeping low to the ground. Then you feel this sudden rush of wind as those of you with dark vision watch as Jeff <laughs> whacks into the side of the barrel, taking a point of damage and dying. What? <laughs> Well, wait, wait, he only took one point of damage. He's got that one health. he's technically unconscious, rather than dead. <laughs> no, because he, he poofs out of existence when he hits zero hit points as a familiar, so... <laughs> worth, I, I was worth a check. It was worth a check. <laughs> you sent a bird out in torrential storm weather. What did you expect? <laughs> At least when he was up high, he wasn't going to get hit by anything. I pat Cat's shoulder and just say, I'm sure Romulus will buy you another one. Uh, I do not... I'm sorry, later. what? Did you think I bought her a bird? Is that if really was... a big leap in judgment? Hi, yes, I'm Max. If I, was, if I was to buy Cat a, a pet, it would be a far more useful one than a bird. Perhaps a large hog that could be eaten for food under dire circumstances. Okay. Those of you currently paying attention, note that Max mm. hops down off of Cat's shoulder and goes, 
that looks like fun, and is going to try and move out into the wind and rain. Uh, I'm going to hold back. No, no, let him do it. <laughs> Tay is going to stop Max. Max, okay. no, oh, yeah. Okay, Same. you snatch up Max. Hi, I'm Max. As he looks at you straight in the straight in the face, Kay. Hello, Max. <clears throat> no going out there in the rain. Okay. It gets all it's all wet. You need to get cold. You don't want to be cold, do you? But I'm warm. But that'll make you cold. But I'm warm. I mean, it might not. He is weirdly magical. Look, you. Also, I was saying. No, you. you, you uh, I was just gonna say that that was towards Romulus, not Max. Uh -huh. Just stay in here so we can keep an eye on you. Make sure nothing hurt, hurts you. You've seen these. The things around here aren't friends. Mm. If you stay with us, you'll be safe. Okay. Probably. We'll look after you, don't worry. Hi, I'm Max. Mm -hmm. Max. You did the little thing, you. Yeah, so... <clears throat> Why do I want to do this? Oh my goodness, I know exactly what I want to do, but somebody's going to yell at me if I do it. <laughs> eat Max. No, I'm not going to eat Max. Aww. I'm going to cast Counterspell Max. Or not Counterspell, Dispel Magic. I want to know what happens. So what are you doing? Hmm? It's the whole party or you? Is anybody doing anything? You're currently just standing there watching the rain? It... You cast I'm tempted to see what happens magic. to Max. You... What are you doing? Look, I'd like to just explore this place and not die. Yeah, I, I'd like to carry on. I, I don't know if he starts casting a spell. Then I'll probably be a bit, like... What are you doing? But that's over there. Uh, I mean, I'm up to hear hearing suggestions before I do oh, something stupid. Have you have you verbally said that you want to cast it? No. Oh, well, I have no idea you're casting it. I don't think you should. I, I, I love I, Max. I'm I'm not casting it yet. I'm up to hearing suggestions, and if nothing piques my interest, I'm casting Dispel Magic on Max. Well, I mean, me as Jamie proposes you don't, but as it's not happening in character, I don't know this is happening. I am just waiting. I mean, if you, if you do one up not casting it, we should probably just head straight out. I mean, yeah, I, I think we should head down. And possibly not upset the all powerful Max. Hey. Right. So, what's happening here? You all proceed to head out, shall we say? Through the rain. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah it's heavy rain. But okay. It goes, so as, as we go by, I'll, I'll hold out my hands to Max to jump back in. Where he's being carried the entire time. Max will attempt to wriggle free. Do you resist, Kay? No. Oh, shame, because that's a, that's a minus two. <laughs> as, Ma <laughs> as Max does his best to wriggle free. You're not holding him tight at all. He wriggles for a moment before eventually jumping to Cat. I would have loved it if he just <laughs> fell on the ground and broke his neck. <laughs> I, oh I don't trust God. Max. I want to... I want to just stress, I don't feel like I should trust Max. I fully love Max. 
don't. No. Like you fall don't. in love with any creature that has fur, or feathers, or probably scales. Yeah. Or All bone. of them. <laughs> okay. So, you are. You know what I call forward. creatures with scales? Except for free rats. upholstery. Except for rats. It's not for rats. Okay. Um, okay. So you're uh, heading out into the wind on. and rain. Yep. I'm going to hang on tight to Max. Okay. In weather such as this, you begin to move out in the direction that you want to head. And it's a little bit difficult. What entrance or what way down are you going to? Hang on a minute. Should we go to the one that's closer to us or the one over there? Let's pick the safe one. Uh, so off the building. That, that's the joke. So uh, off the building. No, that's a bad idea. Let's go with the one closest. There's less Yeah, we'll poke risk. our heads on there, and if there's no ghosts, we can just okay. head across the room. Okay. The two of you heading out, the wind is harsh, and as you are aware, due to the direction that, that uh, Jeff flew in, it is a southeasterly wind, and in this instance, you are finding it relatively easy to follow that wind, and as a result, are able to make it to here with little problem. I'm holding on to Romulus. Okay, good to know. <laughs> Romulus is holding on to Romulus prevents you from having to make a saving throw. <laughs> stompy, stompy, stompy. Look, it was going to be one of those if you tried to go opposite it. Everyone was making athletics checks except Romulus, and Kay was making it with disadvantage. So. <laughs> but as you are following the wind, you head to this nearest one, and you are able to head downwards. So, what is your marching order heading down? I'm happy to go in front, even with minus five to my max HP. I'm probably still the tankiest of the party. Okay. K has to hold on to Romulus, so it will be him and K. Okay. Romulus and K. Are you sure, are you sure you're the tankiest? I I think Max could beat you. Ha! <laughs> <laughs> ah. right. Um. Okay. Uh. Alrighty then. You head down into the abandoned fortress once again. You can see the skeleton opposite the stairwell isn't glowing anymore. It's not bright as it once was during the night, as you were informed. Or as you previously noted, Cat. Mm -hmm. Something has changed. Has changed? Yeah, it's not glowing anymore. Oh, okay, right. I, I thought you meant it's changed from yesterday. Okay. Well, that's always good when they're not glowing. Mm, probably. Uh, just a quick question, Chris. Um, does gi Giant Bone have any properties we should be we would know of? Giant Bone. Yeah, like is it worth collecting? Oh. Um. Go ahead and roll me a nature check. Yes, this might be a little desecrated, but. I got nothing there. It's just a bit desecrated. Uh, nature. Who doesn't love a bit of desecration? That is, that is a seven. That is a seven. Seven. Ow. As far as you're aware, no, not particularly. Like, it's... It's one of those scenarios that you aren't particular famili particularly familiar with giant bone being used as a property for anything. If it's used in medicines, you're unaware. If it's used in enchantments or anything else, or if it's valuable, you don't know. This isn't something you typically collect. I'd say, to the extent, it's bone. And bone can be used to make tools, which for you, I'd say you'd understand that very much for a scavenger's sense. But the bones are full of holes where blood crystals once were, meaning that a lot of this is going to be useless. Can I do a quick scan for any that look untouched in that regard? Uh, go ahead and make the investigation check. like the bigger the better. Oh, so go ahead and make an investigation check with disadvantage, because these are all things that were looked over previously. This is fair. No. 
Afraid uh, not. In, no. Yeah. Looking over the bodies, oh. no, nothing in particular stands out as like a, a good bit of bone that you could use. A lot of them have holes in it, and it's pretty thorough. They were grown to excess. Mm. Very fair. Right. Well, there goes that idea. If we find any non-blood crystal uh, corpses, uh, just let me know, everyone. We walked past some. Oh, shit, was that with the ones up the stairs? Yes. Mm -hmm. Oh. Well, if we get time, I'll, I'll grab one later. Yeah, not really a priority right now. No, not a priority now, but, uh, you know, it, it never hurts to have additional materials. Uh, well, that's happening. Uh, I want to step down and take a look and see if there's anything out here. And if not, I'm going to check and see if the door's been closed, because we didn't close the door. Go ahead and roll me a perception check, please. Uh, right now you have no source of light, so this will build with disadvantage, even though you have dark vision. Because there is no source of light outside either, given that the clouds are covering over everything. Okay. Um, ten. Ten? You don't see any danger. Cool. That's enough for me. I'm gonna go... Uh, so, hold on. There's no light... Wait, yeah, that's right. I can't tell because there's no light outside either. No, there's no light right. outside. Then I will go check and see if the door is closed. Okay. Are the rest of you doing anything while Kay goes and does this? Um, I'm, I'm waiting uh, for everyone to move up pick. with. Yeah, mm -hmm. Okay. I think we'd all stay together. Yeah, if you wish to move up any further, go ahead and do so. Also, you can stay within the confines of this area for the time being. Mm -hmm. So. Curve might start sort of kicking this skeleton's foot. Just for fun. Yeah, and I'm, I'm gonna watch in to make sure it doesn't just anything. Okay. Not yeah, so tough I'll make now, sure I have an eye you? on A to give us the info. What was that, Vinny? Uh, making sure I have an eye on A in case anything happens. Okay. Uh, Romulus, what are you doing at the moment? I'm just kind of trying to make sure that I'm staying near everyone so there's no and if something pops up, I'm going to be getting in the way of it. Okay. Okay. We've already okay. searched through this place once, I'm not concerned. You move around the corner. The door is indeed closed. Interesting. You note where the floor is slightly damp around here. You note that there is a few kind of drips of water from above. And notably, you can see where the water does spill down the stairs and kind of then disappears into the stone below. Interesting. Well... At that moment... Curve, as you get a good solid kick into the dry bone of the giant skeleton, it kind of rattles and rolls a bit. Um, as you otherwise look at it and say that, there is a moment of pause as you suddenly feel, or Cat, you suddenly feel as Max suddenly tenses up incredibly like, incredibly so. Much like before, yeah. as Was all of you over here, or the presence appeared? as all of you over here who are currently aware, watch as from the pool of dried blood at the base of the skeleton erupts into the blood drift presence. I would like everyone to go ahead and roll initiative for me, please. Whee! Max does not need to join this initiative. Alright, let's change this music up to something else. Do I have a good combat one for this? I believe the last time I concluded the answer to that question was no. So let's go ahead and go with my usual nice one that I like to choose for this. Now that it's one of my new favourites, the Wild Hunt. Okay. Alright, I should roll for what I got here. Let's remove Max, he's not relevant anymore. He's always relevant. Nope, never. Okay, <laughs> 25 to 20. 
24. Really? <laughs> okay. 24 on Vinny. 20 to 15. 17. 18. 17. 18. Okay. Uh, 15 to 10. 10 to 5. 8. 6. Okay. 8 and 6. So, top of the initiative, Vinny. As you are one of the group of four over here, you are currently one unsurprised. Pick. Okay, then. Sorry, I know I've just caused this combat, but I need to BRB. I need to put my back on the bed. <laughs> Good That's luck, right. guys. <laughs> Take care. Okay, Vinny first. K afterwards. Romulus. Curd and Cat. That's right. There's plenty of time still for then. Alright, so Vinny, you're up first. Okay. Moving around here. Okay. Uh, at the start yes. of your turn. Go ahead and roll me a constitution or charisma saving throw of your choice, please. Total? Uh, 16. 16. Okay, you just succeed. You may carry on your turn. Okay. Right. I'm here for flanking. As I'm as I'm moving around, I'm gonna go in for a wide slash with my with my scimitar. Mm -hmm. Plus seven, plus three from flanking. Yep, so 20. Mm -hmm. Okay, 20 hits. You take a good swing with your scimitar, doing 10 plus four. So 14. 14 points damage. damage. Okay, good opener. As you move up behind it with your scimitar, taking a swing across the back portion of the kind of condensed crystal mass, you pull your blade back as it has otherwise cracked a few of the crystals away. Okay. Okay. And then having gone in for the running slash, I'm then going to plant, plant my heel and go in for a stab with the short sword. Okay, go ahead. That hits, doing four plus two four damage. Yes, I think plus two cold. Yes. Okay, so that does six damage. Nice. As you plant the dag, as you plant the short sword straight. Uh, into a portion of it, you pull it back as it otherwise crisp as the mist crystallizes and breaks away, away from the main form of the presence. Okay. 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 Uh, it would be your turn in this instance. I will say that you spent your action observing the fact that the door is closed. You turn round to note that the rest of the party is currently in combat with something. So I'll say you're not surprised, surprised, but you now only have an action, uh, a movement, and a bonus action. Alright. Let's um, just go there and not get in the way. Okay. You go there and prepare. Romulus. Well, I want to ruin this thing's day. Uh. Oh, Sorry, start you start the turn. Go ahead and make me a constitutional Christmas saving throw, please. Sorry, for its aura. Oh, joy. <laughs> uh, that's an uh, 18. 18 succeeds. You're fine. Cool, cool. Um, I want to ruin this thing's day. Okay. I have a halberd, and I plan to use it. Uh, when we fought these things before... Um, do I remember how much hit point, how many hit points they had? Uh, no, you just know that it had quite a few. It was tankier than you would have liked. Hmm. Um, fuck it, I'm gonna pop a rage. Okay, bonus action rage. No, it's rage. not the end of the world. Yep, bonus action rage, and I am going to, yeah, uh, attack 
uh, with my halberd. Okay. Go ahead and make me two attack rolls then, please. And you have your bonus plus three. Are you reckless? Mm -hmm. I am indeed. Uh, okay. Which means these should each be a plus ten to hit. So. Okay. So uh, first yeah, one, 26. 26 hits. Okay. And the second one? So 20. 20 hits. Uh, cool, cool, cool. Uh, so that's a D10 and a D10. And. Do, 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 do. Ooh, 16 plus. Uh, plus 2 for each, so 10 each, and then plus 5 plus another two each for rage, so... Oh, numbers are confusing. Okay, so it's plus um, nine per, right? So yes. It's, so it's 17 per, so 34 points of damage. Yeah. Okay. And uh, I, I'm, I'm pretty happy with that. Um, okay. Also, quick thing, you said that some of the crystal broke off of it. Is that, like, did it then, like, disappear, or is it, like... Yes, it, it un kind of dematerializes almost. Noted. Just, I was fully going to rip this thing to pieces and be like, give my crystals. <laughs> okay. But that's you, fair. As you take two heavy swings against it, carving through its form, it is very much weakened. However, it is now its turn. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> to which it is going to move here, and it is going to use... Yep, he is going to use its recharge ability. I would like uh, everyone within 10 feet of it to go ahead and make me a constitution or charisma saving throw, please. Roll. Okay. I need this. How does a 17 look? Okay. Jeez, creature. Oh, um, just sorry. Uh, we had a long rest. Am I pitch pitch yes. back to max? Yep, you, yeah, sorry, yes. You all completed your long rest, so your hit points have recovered back to maximum. Um, with obviously the exception of Romulus, well. you lost five afterwards. Um, and you've regained all your abilities and resources and such. Cheers. Okay, so, Romulus, you said you got an 18? Uh, 17. 17. Okay, you pass and you will take half. So you will take uh, 9 points of poison damage. Dislike that, but a half because I'm raging. And half again because you're raging. So that goes down to 4. Okay. Uh, Vinny, what did you get? A charisma save of 23. Okay, you take half, so you take 9 points of poison damage. Um curve i rolled amazing good to know and uh i have a 10 okay that is a fail you take 19 points of poison damage <coughs> but then, <laughs> uh actually and you are marked as well oh no i am so so uh you take uh, an additional six points of damage on top of that and cat. What does it mean to be bloodied? Um, You're at half or lower. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm bloodied. Okay. Cat, what did right. you get? Right. Six. Six. Uh, you, who have also taken oh. a mark, uh, take the 25 points of damage. I am so glad Romulus took that five. I would be down. I have one HP. <laughs> Oh, my word. Okay. Pa Papa Romulus is here. <laughs> Don't you worry. Okay. Two of you have become bloodied. You note, unlike last time when people were bloodied, the crystals begin to draw upon the blood which is lost and seem to repair it some. Oh, the fuck they will. How's Max? Is he okay? Who fucking cares about Max? Max, is, Max is unaffected because you are currently carrying him. Okay. Yeah, we <laughs> Literally. <laughs> Cat is beat up. Okay. Still worried about Max. Okay. End of its turn. Curve. Please, at the start of your turn, go ahead and make a constitution or charisma saving throw. Actually, 
Uh, the two of you failed, didn't you? So you're both affected by the bloody aura anyway. So you both suffer a minus d6 for the time being. To all of your rolls. Oh. And uh, uh, disadvantage. That's exciting. Sorry, a minus d6, not to my health, but to my rolls. Yes, to all of the rolls you make. Attack rolls, damage rolls, saving throws. And at the start of your turn, uh, you can't regain the bloody aura. So don't worry about that. Okay, Curve, it's your turn. So do I have to make a saving throw? No, no, because I okay. forgot that it's automatically affecting you. Okay, um... 30 foot cone would probably hit Vinny, right? Yes. Yeah. Um... Okay, I will um, do Cursed Binding on uh, the Blood Dude. Uh, cast binding. Okay, what saving throw am I making? Uh, uh, con save 15. Con save 15. Uh, this is a magical effect, so it has advantage. Okay, that is a natural 20. <laughs> so in this instance, as you otherwise go to <sighs> place your hand upon it, the hemologic magic of, or hematurgic magic begin to, beginning to crest upon your arm as you otherwise reach out to bind it. There is a moment where the hemologic magic strikes it and fades, having no effect on it. Okay. Um, bonus action. Uh, branding Smite. Uh, you won't be able to cast two spells in the same turn. Is it not a bonus action? It is, but uh, it you're is limited to... Cast. Yeah, you're limited you to one... You can only either cast spell. one leveled spell and one cantrip. You can't uh, mix. You can't have two leveled spells cast in one turn, apart from reactions, because eh. Yeah. I hate this game. Specifically, that's that's when you use a bonus action to cast spells. Yes. If you gain multiple actions through some sorts, then you can cast whatever. Then you can cast multiple spells. Yeah. But as it currently stands, because you spent your action to cast a spell, you then can't use your bonus action to cast a spell. I would like it to be noted that uh, Curve is not happy with this. Bonus action is bonus action. <laughs> <laughs> Take over, okay. Jeremy Crawford. Uh, I'm sure I'd love to hear it. You know what? All, all you've got to do is just take th uh, two levels in fighter, and there you go. You've got an action surge you can play around with. Yeah, that is fair. So, Curve, what would you like to do? I guess I'll save my action, my bonus action. Okay. Sorry, I, I, I don't, I mean... I guess I could take a step back. Would prompt an attack for <laughs> opportunity, but... Yeah. Uh, uh, if I stay, I'm screwed. If I go, I'm screwed. Welcome to my world. Yeah. If I stuck uh, my toe, I'm screwed. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Curve, being curved, she will try and move back. How far back can I move? Uh, you have 30 feet. Each one is five? Yep. Okay. It is going to... It is going to make an attack opportunity against you. Yeah. Does a 15 hit your AC? No. Then it misses. As you otherwise... As, as you otherwise step back to otherwise move away, you can feel almost... I'm more like, run back. <laughs> yeah, run back. You feel this influence as it begins to run across the surface of your skin, almost like bubbling boils for a moment before it dissipates, unable to really get a grasp on your physique to otherwise influence you and deal some heavy damage. Mm -hmm. So, okay, you have moved away and prompted its reaction. Is that the end of your turn? Yep. Okay. Please make me a constitutional Christmas saving throw for the bloody aura, please. This is to remove the effect. Uh, remember, you have a minus d6 to this as well, because of the aura itself. Okay, you can't... <laughs> nope, never mind. The d6 is just going to make it worse. Uh, Max is no longer surprised. Cat. Uh, good for Max. Uh, okay. Um, 
yeah, no, cat is cat's bad. <laughs> um, Heal curve, yourself. Curve, curve, I, curve has uh, legged it, and <laughs> it, while it's taken a swing at curve, I'm going to sort of like stumble backwards and sort of ten, fifteen, twenty, stand here. Um. Hmm. Mm. Okay, hang on. Let me see for one second. What have yeah. I got going on? Well, have you cast uh, Mage Armor yet today? I have. I don't want to wake up. Go ahead and roll Wild Magic then, please. That should have been for the beginning of the day. Let's see if Cat exploded after waking up. <laughs> I hate my life. Okay. No. No. Fine. Okay, I'm, I, I like dice. I hate the other dice. Alright, I am going to cast second... I can't do it third. I'm going to cast second Chaos Bolt, or level Chaos Bolt on myself with the heal rune. Okay, go ahead and roll me Wild Magic and the dice for the healing. Nope. Cool. Okay. Uh, it's what? 2d8 and 2d6. That's what it is. And if I'm correct, this is a heal rune, so this it's is halved. Off. Yep. Okay, so 23 halved to 11 points of healing. Well, I am not dead at something. Okay. I'm still blooded, but all good. Yep, so that's your action and your movement. And you don't have a bonus action because you don't have a Jeff, so go ahead and roll me a constitution or charisma saving throw of your choice against the bloody aura, please. Uh, Vinny, at the top of your turn, you'll have to roll for the aura, so go ahead and make me a constitution mm -hmm. or charisma saving throw, please. Minus d6. Four. Well, whatever. I'm not going to do that. That's nine. No. You fail there. And Vinny? Uh, Sixteen. Sixteen. Just passing again. Nice. Okay. Right. So you otherwise shrug off the bloody auras. You begin to feel it almost trying to influence you. But where you are uninjured, you feel... Well, not necessarily uninjured. Not feeling too heavily injured. You feel it hasn't got a grasp on your physicality. What would you like to do? Uh, let's keep running around. This has been working so far. Mm -hmm. How's it looking at this point? Because it took quite a beating, but then it recovered. Uh, it, it looked like it was. It took quite a heavy beating, and Romulus put it in its place, and then it began to draw upon the wounds that it dealt to Cat and Curve. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so what sort of state? Um, Just the ballpark. It's looking... it's not looking terrible. Okay. You would... Right. Str I would say you would very much struggle to bring this down this turn without some exceptional rolls. Okay. But if I can chip it down, then that would be... Hmm? ...useful. So I'm going to... Yeah, same combo then. A uh, big slash from the scimitar first. Okay, go ahead and make me the attack roll. Again, you have your bonus plus three because you are flanking with Romulus. Mm -hmm. So it's a total plus ten. Mm -hmm. Hits. Oh, it was plus three. I forgot it's up, hasn't it? Yeah, because it's equal to your proficiency. Q. Yeah. So um, again, ten plus four, so it's fourteen. Fourteen slashing. points of damage. Yep, yeah. nice. Uh, and it, then now not looking so great. Okay. And then flipping the short sword into a um, reverse grip and stabbing down with it. Okay, go ahead. Yeah. The scimitar, with the scimitar slice again dragging across the crystal and the mist, it begins to break and, uh, break and shatter it into pieces and chunks. But this time as you go to stab with the short mm. sword, it otherwise shifts out of the way, becoming mist that otherwise doesn't. Uh, solidify against the short sword's cold and otherwise resists the effect as it um, fails to hit it. Uh, unfortunate, but... Okay. Is that the end of your turn? Or do you uh, wish to move further? No, I'll stay where I am to help Romulus. Okay. Okay, you're Go up. For him. <laughs> Uh, 
Charge. 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 Okay. I'm going to charge. Gonna charge, boss. As if the wild K appears next to run race pouncing on it. Yep, ah, go okay. ahead. Oh, interesting. Something that we need to take into account this time, Romulus. You do not have mm. dark vision. You'll be making your attacks a disadvantage if you're not reckoning, so keep that in mind. Man, so, your two attacks. Funny. That's a natural Are you sure 20. he looks very glowy? He's not that glowy. No. Okay, so that is 9 plus... That is 9 plus 4 plus 2 from the cold, not the poison. Okay, 13 and... Fit, so, 13. So, that's 15 total. Okay. Nice. You take a... You otherwise uh, run forward doing otherwise a slight jump, the tail coming down in a piercing fashion, otherwise strikes through a portion of the crystal, pulling outwards as the leaves kind of this trail of frost in the air for the moment, as you then take a swing with your claws forward, otherwise hitting, doing five plus uh, the six five again. Plus four. Plus two. Plus two, yep. So that does, uh, so does 11 points of damage this time, as you otherwise rake the claws across, uh, causing the gathered mist in front of it to frost over for the moment as you tear across its front. And Man, bonus I'm action fighting. flight. Okay. Okay. And jumping up, you otherwise bite onto the uh, bite onto the surface of it. As you otherwise uh, pull your jaws away, total uh, to hit, sorry. Uh, that is 9 plus 7. 16? So 16. 16 unfortunately misses it. As you note now, with the process of what's happened, a section of its crystal has grown harder than before. And as you go to bite onto it, your teeth aren't quite able to break through. And unfortunately, you deal no damage. I still did enough. And, um... You did a good amount, yeah. Considering how low it is, and after what I've seen the last time something happens with this thing, I am going to back up away from Okay, let me back up away from it. Uh, Romulus, it is now your go. Currently right. there is no light down here, and there was a mistake last time that we forgot, but I will not forget this time. Well, I am definitely recklessing then. Okay, so these will be made oh. regular attack rolls. Regular attack rolls. Balls. They've got a plus 11 though, so that could be worse. Yep, so. Um, yeah. Two attacks with the halberd? Two attacks with the halberd, yes. Go ahead. Ooh. Oh, well. That's a natural 20, well, so well, well. go ahead and roll your damage. Loving it, loving it, loving it, loving it. That's depressing. That is. Uh, <laughs> but that is still plus 9 onto each of these. This is true. So, so that should be plus a total 18, of so 26. 26. Okay. Mm -hmm. 26 damage as you otherwise drag your... Uh, drag your halberd up with a reckless swing upwards. It carves through a section of it, and as you bring it back down, kind of leaving this mantle of frost that's otherwise carves through it, there is a moment of density as the mist solidifies and shatters, scattering to the ground. Immediately, you feel the mist enter you and influence you in some manner, but you do not know what. Uh, you have now become marked. The okay. Combat is seemingly over. I don't know why, but for some reason I think I've been marked. Join the club. Mm hmm. Is there anything left of this creature, or no, is it just it, gone? It disintegrates into tiny pieces that disappear. Cat, how are you doing? I have hurt. It hurts. Oh. Uh. The aura fades in time. Also, Cat, something I forgot to do. You were affected by the bloody aura. Um, so I'm going to roll a d60 to see how much damage was removed oh. off your rolls. Three. So that would have gone from 11 healing to 10 healing. So remove one hit point. I know it's only one hit point, but in this in this case, it could still matter. Yeah, yeah, no. That's... Cool. Do you need some temporary hit points? Are you good? I'm 
I mean, I'm still very blooded. Well, very. I'm still blooded. But... I have no healing potions, No, so... as, as Cat looks at... Max, are you okay? Oh. Hi, I'm Max. <sighs> Cat, Cat, I need to stress this. I, I... You know that I love you. I cannot Friends. stress how little... That's curves, yeah. uh, I need to... I can't stress how little I care about Max right now. <laughs> That's fine, but I care about him. Max looks at I know. upset. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry, Max. Has your weirdly, very illegally adopted daughter just almost died in front of you? No. Well, then please, back of the line. Right. Um, I'm going to, I'm, I'm just his, like his looking through my back for whatever tasty treats I can give. His uh, ears droop and he hops down from you, cat. I, <laughs> I call feel Max bad. to me. <laughs> Max, no, it's okay. I call Max to me. Pop. Pop. Oh. You call Max to you? Go ahead and roll me a persuasion check. <laughs> now, hey, now, cat looks I really have, sad. I haven't been mean to Max, and I understand. Come here, Max. Okay, so I am taking uh, the dried apple 15. and some of the honey, and I am using those to make my tasty treats of temporary hit points. Okay, I will allow that. Uh, and Kay, you otherwise, um, as you otherwise call Max, over to you. You are now carrying a rabbit about your size. Um, I'm this okay is, with this. This is going to slow you down, and you will have to drop Max if you enter combat. Throw him. Don't I'll throw you. <laughs> Look after Max. You would not be capable of doing as such. Not yet. Not ever. Well, we'll see. We'll see. I'm okay. I, I carry Max. Carrying Max. Right. Are we all alive then? More or less. Yeah. No, no. Have we all learned our lesson about kicking skeletons. I have not kicked any skeletons. I want to make that very clear. You're really letting the team down. For the most part, I have only, you know, slashed apart their immortal souls with ghost weapons. <sighs> Left to do, I suppose. Are we okay to push on? Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes, just about. Uh, but in the but here's some treats I prepared earlier, by which I mean five seconds ago. I'm just shoving dried apple covered in honey in uh, cat's mouth, and uh, who else do I care about? Um, Max. It's not gonna be Max. I hate to say it. <laughs> um, Curve tries to do puppy dog eyes. Probably a persuasion fine. check. <laughs> just, just to see how good they are. Yeah. 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 I mean, either way, you've already. It, it'll be a yeah. I'm, you're okay I'm with it. I just want to see. But oh no! Wait, 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 I, honestly, it's first. to stop the ugliest look I've ever seen. Um, it's nine. not. It's not the ugliest look you've ever seen. But as you otherwise look at cat, oh well, not cat, curve. You otherwise look over and you watch as her eyes get bigger and wider and begin to burn with hellfire. <laughs> as the eyes. <laughs> As the eyes become these kind of piercing splits down the middle, as she's staring at you with kind of this wide-eyed, and brings her See, mouth up to a uh, up to kind of a, a pierced lip look, and it just looks like she will murder you in seconds. You know what? I don't. I, I've changed my mind. I don't want to support this kind of behaviour. Um, uh, Vinny, you know, I'll I'll throw one to curve. Vinny, would you like some temporary hit points? It's three temporary hit points. I'm okay, honestly. I, didn't I think throw it to the fucking rabbit, then. <laughs> <laughs> I, w I will use Mage Hand to hang it in front no, of no, the no. rabbit. I am giving it to the rabbit. I thought you were throwing. I I meant that in the okay. metaphorical right. sense. Right. So you go over to K. I go over... you... I'm going to first of all... Like, Keep, like, use my other hand to keep K from eating it. Okay. As you approach Max. the... I don't want it. As you approach, Max otherwise twists his head to the left and keeps his eyes closed. Max, I'm 
Sorry, I was upset about Kat's well-being, and I, I, I think I took that out on you. Would you like a tasty treat? You hand it out, and Max otherwise looks at it, takes a bite. Hi, I'm Max. Hello, Max. And I'm going to go back over and make sure Cat doesn't die. Can I just double check? Sorry, did I get one there or not? Yes, yes, you did. Okay, thank you. Yeah, so three temporary hit points to Cat, Curve, and Max. Max. I, I will if note this down to be evil, I'm going to hate it so much. <laughs> turns out this is a single three hit points is a single percent of uh, of his uh, hit points. It means nothing to Max, the immortal <laughs> god. <laughs> so. Oh, great. He's he's ensnared another person. <laughs> I was doing that sarcastically, but yeah. fair enough. Hey, Kay. Max is just space yeah. whales. <laughs> yes, I know. <laughs> I know. You know what really upsets me? What? The fact that I was, um, I was playing Stellaris and I found the... I found the space whales breeding grounds. We need to get a mod just to turn them into rabbits. Anyway. <laughs> so, what would you like yeah. to do? I would like to ask Max if he feels like he... If there's anywhere that he feels he needs to be right now. Ooh, okay. Max looks at you as you ask this question. Hi, I'm Max. Can, can, can I can I see the glimmer in the eye that that I saw before? Go ahead and roll me an insight check. I, I'm doing this every time because I, I know it's roll there. Every time. Oh come on! No, nope, I'm inspiration. You are using inspiration on this? Okay. <laughs> I'm using it on it. <laughs> That's better, but it's not gonna get me in. I don't think. Uh, thirteen. It's hard to tell. Uh, Just stares back at you for the moment. Hmm. He, he's been answering when we talk about fakes, so. Which way would you like to go? Be happy. Uh, Max, up or down? Hi, I'm Max. Hmm. I'm gonna get better at reading you here soon. <laughs> We should keep going before that thing comes back, by the way, guys. Yeah, I'm trying yeah. to do anything to set it off. Let's head down to the cellar. Yes, let's get this exploration... exploration done. Okay. So, same marching order as before, or altering it slightly? Same as before, let me take the brunt of it. Uh... Can we have Cat in the middle, please? I'll go mm -hmm. back. Okay. Maybe at the back. I'll say Curve will be there. Kay, where would you like to be, front or back? Uh, I will go in the back because uh, instead of doing my normal thing of keeping an eye on a lot of things, uh, my goal is to keep an eye on Max and see if he has any reactions to anything down here. <laughs> As you go into the chamber below, Romulus, you can't see anything. It's pitch black down here. Do you wish to say anything before you descend further? Romulus? Uh, sorry, excuse me? Uh, Rom uh, well, Cat and Romulus, you two can't see. It's pitch black down here. Glimmer. Glimmer? Okay. Yeah. Hey. I light my last torch. Hey, we'll throw two more torches at Romulus. Thank you so much. I am going to take those torches. Heading down okay. into... Not even a fucking question about it. Yeah. I need torches. Okay. Heading down into the uh, chamber below. Oops. You're going to 
What are you going to say, Kev? Uh, I literally just, oh, what are we heading down? Just because I was in the middle of Oh, yep. Yeah. Party's heading okay. down. So, stepping, stepping down the stairs to the lower area, the sounds of the thunder, the wind, and the rain otherwise subside this far down. They stop. There's no recollection of the land above, but you can still hear kind of a faint dripping sound as a few bits of water are running from the nearby area down into this chamber. You otherwise look around, the light from Cat's horn illuminating what looks to be a rather large room. A singular skeleton of a giant corpse lingers off to one side. You see a table cracked in half, otherwise lying against the back wall, a chair next to it shattered and cracked where it has otherwise stumbled and leaning to one side a bed unmade in the back and what looks to be a barrel and a brazier the brazier is notably intact compared to all the others you've seen thus far you also see on the eastern wall what looks to be a large stone door that is currently ajar how strange this ajar it seems to also be a door. Hmm. Very curious. Indeed. What could it contain? I would presume pickles. Okay. Most likely. If you want to move into the room, then I'm happy to pick around the door. Okay. I'm... I'll, I'll, I'll just head in, I will move over towards the table. Okay. What's, what's in the barrel? And Vinny, you were heading over to the door. I'll peek over barrel. in the barrel. Mm -hmm. Okay. And Curve and Kay, were you doing anything in particular down here? Or just keeping an eye? Um, Curve is just going to stay where she is, sort of like rubbing her arms, nervously looking around. Okay. Okay. I'm just going to walk around with uh, Max and see if uh, he reacts to anything. Okay. I'm using him as a dowsing rod, by the way. Okay. I'll say, wandering around the room, Max doesn't really do anything except for say, hi, I'm Max, to every person you pass. Before, as you get kind of close to this skeleton, Max kind of looks straight at the skeleton and just goes, Hi, I'm Max! Uh, Vinny, you're looking through the door. Mm -hmm. Go ahead and roll me a perception check. Uh, I will say the light from Cat isn't going to be going around the door in this instance because of the positioning, so make this with disadvantage. And Romulus, go ahead and roll me an investigation check, please, for you checking the barrel. Can throw some dancing lights in there, but I, I don't suppose to... someone could give me advantage. No. No. I mean, I, I, okay. I can, I can move forward and help. I'm I just very much it. not great. Uh, at well, I'll say, I'll say if, in this instance, if... Romulus, you won't be able to get help from Cat because Cat is exhausted. Right, yeah. So, Cat, make me Fair a separate enough. investigation check with disadvantage. Uh, Vinny, what did you get? Disadvantage is depressing, but it's still a 14. 14. Okay. Wow. Looking in, you see what looks to be the uh, opening to a larger chamber within. There's a moment of pause as you otherwise look into the area, kind of taking in it for a moment. As you see that it opens up and you can see what looks to be a large kind of white spherical object a little further in covered in these what looks to be white looking almost arcane glyphs <clears throat> okay what? and Romulus what did you Romulus and Cat what did you get for your investigations I got three I got a 13 13 looking in uh, Cat, you can't see up through uh, over the uh, lip of this. It's too tall um, of a barrel for this. This seems to be a, a crafted barrel, one that is more depictingly useful for giants. And for Romulus, as you otherwise look over, you can see what looks to be traces of water at the bottom of this, but nothing more. Possibly a place for drinking water or washing oneself. You're not sure. Okay. Uh, 
Or it might not be water at all. You can't tell. Can I take a sniff over? See, is a, does it smell alcoholic or anything? Um, no, it kind of just smells kind of like dampness. Probably just water. I'll not think about it. Do, 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 do. <laughs> I'm not happy. Hey, Romulus, how, is there a little bit of water in the bottom of this? A very, said... very tiny amount. Mm. The tiny amount. Can you pour it in the brazier just in case it likes? Could... Is it's that like... a thing I can do, Chris? Uh, make me an athletics check. This is a larger barrel than the previous ones. As All right, let's... as you're trying to do this, and Vinny, you're over by the door, kind of inspecting what's going on. As... <laughs> I should as... never try and roll a natural a d20 in that or in that twenty. What did you get? That is a, a total um, applying a minus five. Uh -oh. oh god. Uh, four. Okay. There's a moment where you go to lift the barrel, and then you hear a. You're almost on the edge of a pop or a crack, and you stop for a moment. You relax. You're like, okay. That could have been really bad as you kind of step away from the barrel. You can try again, but you'll be rolling all future rolls at disadvantage against this one barrel. Um, I'm sorry, uh, Cat. It has bested me. Meanwhile, while this is going on, <laughs> as Max otherwise looks at the skeleton and goes, Hi, I'm Max. You watch as the skeleton begins to glow a faint blue in that moment. Uh... Okay, so uh, this one might be like the others. Let him sleep. Max otherwise looks at you, looks back at it. Roll me a persuasion check. Do I get advantage because he kept in day tried to attack it? No. It's Max. Uh, Twelve. Twelve? Okay. Max looks at you and just kind of remains silent for a moment. The glowing blue dissipates. Vinny, what would you like to do with the information? Uh, there's definitely some of something magical up here. Couldn't see anything that seemed to be moving, so we should be okay. Okay. Uh, How heavy does this door look? Uh, assuming it's made for giants. And not it's made for light. giants and it's solid stone. For you to move this, you are going to need one hell of a strength check. Right it's now, not... it's a squeeze for all of you to get through, except for K. Romulus can get through this. It will again still be a squeeze, but it means that you'll be going prone when going through it. Which means that running to or from this room up ahead will mean that one person will be able to go through at a time every two turns. Yeah. Why don't um, we. Nah, Romy, this. You're fat. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Hi, sorry, I'm what was that? Horse girl? <laughs> <laughs> I can fit. Right. Um. <sighs> it's a thick fight. Vinny, um, shall I attempt to open the door further? Yeah, if we need to make a quick exit, that's probably going to be useful. All right, I'll, please I'll, get I'll, out I'll of the way. I will be giving you a hand as well, but to be honest, I believe in you individually. And I'm gonna give a okay, okay. Well. I will get over here, and I will start trying to open this further. Go ahead and make me an athletics check, please. I really don't want to have to rage to do this. <laughs> can I? Can I? Um, I, I wanted to see uh, if that, I could make... That was not moving properly. On well, my screen, that rolled onto a one. And on I... my screen, it ended up doing a flip, but I, maybe I'm wrong. I was going to see if I could be able to give, uh, give aid to him. Okay. Well, I'll say in this instance, given Vinny was also offering, I'll say both of you giving Romulus advantage. I will let Romulus have the advantage to roll a second die. And if he rolls a natural one, then let bygones be bygones. No. There it is. 
Okay. With K and uh, with K and Vinny helping, kind of pulling from one side, and Romulus pushing, there is a moment where the door kind of slides slightly, grinding against the stone. The broken stone underfoot, as it otherwise catches on a small chip. Romulus pushes, and it eventually breaks past it and slides as K pulls out the tiny chip that was wedging the door closed. As it is now fully open, with light flooding in, you can see more clearly now. What Vinny you once saw thought was a smooth kind of domed object still is. But you can notably make out what looks to be more of it. Eye sockets? Indeed. Okay. And on the far wall... What, um... Yeah, and on the far wall you can just about make out what looks to be some more writing. But a otherwise gargantuan skull carved of stone by the looks of it, with runes covering its entirety. Okay. Should probably go without saying, but nobody poke the spooky skull. Hmm. Uh, Hale looks to Max and then points Max towards the skull. Is it asleep too? Hi, I'm Max. Does he say that towards it or towards me? Um, he says it towards the skull because you're pointing it towards the skull. He has a neck. He can move his. He neck. can't go 180 degrees. Remember, you're carrying him like you're. I don't know. Imagine you're a five-year-old and you're carrying, carrying like your a two-year-old. Yeah, you're carrying like a sack of potatoes in front of you. He can't really turn without possibly <laughs> disjointing his neck. You know, and then I'll have to start doing damage to Max. I mean, there's somebody here that would agree <laughs> with that. But... I know, but still. <laughs> so. Okay, well, shall we go check this out? Cool, let's go. It's the only way forward, just be there careful. You. you have fun. Okay, uh, Kay's gonna see if he can try and get Vinny to stay with him for a sec. Okay. Oh, so yeah. Kay's staying with Vinny, did you say? Uh, Kay's gonna have see if Vinny will stay back for a sec. I'll okay. loiter by the door then, and just if everyone wants to go through first. Okay. I uh, scoff down the uh, temporary hit points and sort of try and pretend to be brave as I walk over. Okay. I'll say there, because Why is that skull so much bigger than all the other skulls? I don't know. I want to read what these runes are. So, Romulus, are you going first, Vinny? Yeah, yeah, if we're going to die, I want to be the first one to get hit. Okay. <laughs> Go ahead and make me a dexterity saving throw, please. With advantage because of danger sense? Nope, you do not see this coming because nobody investigated for traps. Worth a fucking try. I'm not going to do the nat 21. I've been burned by that before. And watch this one now be a one. Oh, so close. That so hurt. Close. That was upsetting. Uh, dexterity save. That is a six. Okay. You watch as the ground below you suddenly flares with this magic as the rest of you watch as there's this bright piercing white light as it flashes oh, no. upwards striking into you, Romulus. Mm -hmm. uh, you take 20 points of radiant damage. Fuck me. Uh, I, I got nothing. I got nothing there. I'm bad... <laughs> I, I take a fucking step. Uh, do I think that's something that'll reactivate if I step forward? <laughs> you don't know. Do you want to make an arcana check to see if you can figure that out? I would like to uh, do that, provided it would not prevent someone else from doing so who is smarter than me. Uh, I... Oh, I... I can't... Kat, would you I... mind doing the smart magic thing over I... here? Oh. Okay, what's what's going on? I just got hit by a giant ray of light. Uh, I would that uh, well probably would have killed you. So um, That's exciting. could you could you please um, investigate the magic-y stuff? Okay, I'm. 
<laughs> where Romulus currently stands right. still, you can see on the ground what looks to be this carved glyph of bright white magic, which otherwise has dulled down and begun to fade as it begins to otherwise merge with the rock once again. Okay, I'm going to come take the track that he took and I'm going to have a look around and in front to see if there anything along them lines. Okay, go ahead and roll me an arcana check with disadvantage, please. Who That's did we just exciting. lose? I, I love that. Me. Oh, okay. But you're still in Discord, so not power. That's good. Okay. Well, you're on your own. Natural one. This... As you look down, Cat, you see the magic begin to fade. You don't know what this is, and you don't get a good glimpse of it. All right. Well, I'm going to look out for any more of those things I stood on. Because all I know is that that hurt, and I don't want to do it again. Okay, you want me an investigation did, check then, please? Did it activate when you stood on it? Probably. That's all right. eight. Eight? Looking around. <laughs> you you look around, and you're pretty certain you don't see any more of them. Well, in that case, I step forward. Like, one sec before you... Don't okay. do that yet. Hold on, one second, what was that? I'm going to cast Mage Hand, and I'm going to basically sweep the floor with the hand in front of him. Okay. Actually making contact with the floor. Okay. Nothing seems Fair to happen. Enough. I step forward. Instant death laser! No. Yes. <laughs> no. Yes. No. No. Okay. <laughs> I'll just keep doing that in front of his path. Okay. Yeah, I'll just... I will uh, be intending to, well, just sort of like have a look up at this skull thing, um, mm -hmm. and whatever's going on there. I'm gonna, cat. Uh, I'm going to head to my left. No, my right. Sorry, the one that's down. Okay. <laughs> right. And oh, oh, cat will just sort of like brush. His I can hand. Along I can the play floor. the information that I am trying to head to this, this one here. Okay. Okay. Look, <laughs> It's really hard to work out what ways things are. Okay. Um, okay. So that Kat can get a clear view of this thing because she's bound to okay. know more than I do about the runic shite. Okay. Mm -hmm. Kay. Uh, with your detect magic vision that you naturally have, uh, you could see the sparkles of this when it went off. A very powerful radiant magic. You note as Kat steps off of this space here, it reactivates. Oh. <laughs> oh. Oh. Correction. It resets and is ready to be activated by the looks of it as it be as it begins to glow with a hue of recharge. I will throw the chip that I got out of the door to let it open onto that tile. Okay. You throw the chip onto the tile as it otherwise hits. There is a wave of magic which shoots upwards, burning and otherwise destroying the chipped stone in the process. And it immediately begins to recharge. We should go in now. Uh, you two first. I want to see if it resets again. Um, okay. Or so... first... The first one that was not true, and the second. Okay. So the two of you rush in? Yes, so, yeah. Okay, where are you going? Because at, mo at this moment, Cat and Romulus are still here, so. Where are you going? Well, not there, so. Here? Okay. Okay, you move there. I guess that's sorry, Curve will be here so that um Kate well, can You gotta make it across okay. the thing. Oh, and yeah, just to clarify, oh, is the so trap close? is the two is a two by two here. And currently oh, okay. while you're standing on it, you note Kay that it doesn't seem to be recharging. Interesting. Okay, so I will Did it do anything else when two people were in it? It didn't have a different no, it didn't seem like it. Okay. It just seemed like it was dull, like it had been activated. Okay, can we make room so we can get in? I'll move up here. Okay. I will, after Cat sweeps another thing, I will move down a space. Okay. 
I'm making room for cat. I'll, I'll follow soon. Yeah. Uh, bef I was gonna say, before I go in, uh, after Curve goes in, it doesn't recharge, right? No. Okay, I want to see if I, if there's anything magically connected to this door that may or may not close it itself. Make it close itself. Roll me investigation check. Investigation, that is a 16. Okay, looking for any triggers around the area with your kind of natural magic and vision of all this. You look around and you can't seem to see anything of note, but you do know what looks to be a glyph on the back of the door now that it is in place. You note that it looks very similar to that of the other giant runes that you've seen around the space here. Interesting. Cat. Mm-hmm. Can you read this? Uh, I, I have a look. You can't see anything. Mm. Uh, do you, do you, do you have, I have chalk, I have chalk. Uh, I am going to trace the, uh, room. Okay. As I see it. Roll me a sleight of hand check, or if you're proficient in calligrapher's tools, do so with advantage. Uh, at the current point in time, I do not. Okay, so go ahead and roll me. That then, please. Right. And... Oh, he's so low today. Um, that's a 14. 14? Okay. I'll say that's it's not bad, as you otherwise begin to draw and kind of write it as best you can. It's a little bit difficult getting close to the top, as you are quite sure, and you're holding a big rabbit. But you are kind of drawing as best you can for it. Um, cat, it's in giant, and it seems to say story. Story? Story, interest. okay. Um, can I... Has he... Uh, have you traced over exactly where it is? Okay. Uh, from... From what I've seen... It, I have, right? Yeah, you have. You've had a bit of difficulty kind of getting the little bit of the curvature at the top because you can't quite reach, but... Okay, I am going to... As this is magical, um, I am going to cast... See if this has any reaction to it. I'm going to cast Homing Blade at it. Okay. You cast Homing Blade, the kind of thin... Thin beam of silver light strikes the stone door, leaving very little marking on it. Doesn't seem to do anything. No. Didn't react at all. Hi, I'm Max. Hi, Max. Listen. He's trying to say something. Would, um, would I be able to use um, a wisdom check in aid at all to try and see if uh, I could figure out something with the Scarlet Door. Yeah. Um, in what manner? Uh, I'll ask to, for a little bit more specific what you try and do discern about the door. Um... What it might do. Okay. Also, go ahead and roll me an Arcana check. Arcana? Actually, no. Hey, yeah, Arcana or Religion. Your choice. I mean, I was kind of deliberately going for this. <laughs> <laughs> It's up to you. I mean, it's our carnal religion, so you want to give it a try just to see what they're working with here. Twelve. Twelve. If it says the word story as Cat suggests, you're not sure. Like you've seen some of the runes around here, and they're 
magical nature do stuff with cat's magic, but outside of that, it doesn't seem to do anything. And when cat casts a spell on it, nothing seems to occur. Okay. I've been very helpful. Okay, I am going to Sorry. cast detect magic, mm -hmm. and I'm going to. Did he trace it pretty yeah. accurately? Yeah, he he traced it pretty accurately. It just says the word story on it. Okay. All right. Is this rune looking like a normal sort of language, or rune like the ward, the um, gladiator, and armor? Uh, no. It looks different. It Almost looks like different. it's just writing. I will say you can discern that this is, I believe, it's illusion magic. I need to double check this real quick, but I believe it's illusion magic. Yeah, this is illusion magic. Okay. Um, from what I know of magic, would mm -hmm. this be something that would potentially have a trigger? Doesn't look like it, no. It's... It seems to be just be writing in magic for one reason or another. Hmm. Okay. I, I, I don't understand this. It's, it, it, it's just a written story and doesn't seem to have a purpose. It's illusion. Maybe you can... I mean, do that magic consumption thing that you did. Maybe. Oh, uh, actually, yeah. Romulus or Vinny, is there anything you would like to try and do during this time, or curve anything extra? I mean, I would like to tr study this because even though I have rudimentary knowledge of of, of giant, I. I feel like this is the sort of like artifacty thing that we were supposed to look for. I I feel like there were specific items we were trying to find. Am I is that, is that am I crazy? No, it was yeah. an abandoned um, giant's fortress, and you were told to look through it, and you just bought a map for something that could be really dangerous or really empty. Mm -hmm. It was just part of your appraisal so testing. Yeah, as it currently stands, you look at the skull. Ha! Huh, you recognize almost all of these runes. There's A, there's a C, there's a F in there, what looks to be a, an S and a T. Almost like the alphabet. Huh. I'm gonna I'm gonna study it. Okay. Roll me an investigation check. Please be kind to me, Chris. Um Okay, let's let's see what happens here. Oh, the cruelty of the dice. Six. Um, plus. Set plus one, so seven. Okay. Looking around, you manage to locate with a seven against a DC of five all of the letters <laughs> of the alphabet on this skull. Ah. In giant. Fuck, that's very useful for me personally. I'll, I'm, I'm not going to lie, Vinny. I would very much like to touch the skull. Um, I'm going to look over, sort of, at the skull before Kay does anything. If he does, then I'll be looking to break down what he's done. But I'm going to look. Is there anything, any trails, signs, anything out of the thing, especially with detect magic up? No, nothing. Maybe the alphabet is linked somehow? No, doesn't look like it. Okay, the so skull, just... the only thing that you can tell is what looks to be kind of this general natural magic that comes from the skull. Suggesting the skull probably belonged to something. And the residual magic from it is massive. But has diminished over thousands and thousands of years. If you tap one of the letters, does it respond? One of, yeah, one of the letters. If I was to push the word or the letter s does it respond you do so yeah okay you push the letter i'm gonna s. be standing right next to, to yeah while well, she does this yeah. okay mm -hmm. uh so this the letter okay the letter s uh are you going specifically for the letter s here specifically for the i'm gonna try and see if i can spell story 
Okay. Going to disable the letter S will take you to the other side of the room. Uh. I will say for I the sake follow. of. I will say for the sake of brevity, exploring and so on. You just said there are no further traps. Cool. K is currently standing on the only one that's okay. there, and it's deactivated. Okay. Moving over, you press your hand on the letter S, and you watch as the letter S glows for a moment. Hmm. Okay. If I use Mage Hand, can I push T? You use Mage Hand to always float up and try and push T, which is nearby, and it does not react. Okay. Now, if I use my hand and push T, does it react? It does. It glows okay. faintly. Okay. I'm going to proceed to spell story. Okay. You go to press O, and you watch as S, T, and O all go blank for a moment. Failing and fading back to their white coloration, and you watch as red mist begins to gather in the floor around you. Fuck. <clears throat> well, so it's three letters. It spells something. Well, we got to S T. Mm, either we got to S T, or it would accept any three letters, and it's supposed to be a three-letter code. Is it Max? Fuck! I'm gonna push M. You push M, it lights up. I'm gonna push A! <laughs> I'm gonna... You push A, it lights up. Uh, I'll push X. You push X. You watch as all of their letters fade for a moment back to white. You watch as the room rises with this red mist beginning Shit. to fill the room more and more. That wasn't it. And you watch it. as... All of the mist gathers and pulls towards K and into Max. As oh, wait, no shit, that was it? As Max explodes. <laughs> oh, <God. laughs> uh, uh. <laughs> I to figure out Max for oh. <laughs> and, the door and the door behind you, where you can see what looks to be, who no one, expect, uh, no one explored, what looks to be writings and words not dissimilar oh, oh to... God. Writings and wo and wording not dissimilar to a guardian of a place, talking of the life of a storm giant who roamed the land protecting his people. And as you turn and look at this cat, you recognise this as a storyteller door. Oh, Jesus Christ. And a cavern behind you opens up. As this happens... So we were meant to kill Max. As this happens, you all hear a voice emanate through the area. Ah, oh, thank you, friends. And welcome, sorceress. I am glad that you have arrived at last. Max? <laughs> that is I. You're Max? Yes, you I like am. You. L lovely Where to... are you? Right. I think through the cavern. That it is through the cavern, right? I'm everywhere. Ooh. Oh. Okay. I'm um. I mean, here. you have you've released me from my service now that you are here, sorceress. Oh. Okay. Uh, is this what you? Okay. I. I'm here. What? What? Why were you waiting for me? There's an what, awkward pause. What kept you... What kept you here? In that form? The trial. The first of three. You mean the skull? The trial. Oh. I look down at Sychania. Do you think this is... Sychania nods. To do with... Oh. Oh. Oh, I understand. Okay. So, I have a trial and there's three of them. Okay. Right. I, I think I understand. So, Good. this is my first trial. Indeed. Right. You sound woefully unprepared for this. Is everything okay? I believe she is indeed woefully unprepared for it. This... 
wasn't something I have been informed of, and this whole situation was after a giant accident. <laughs> oh. Huh. But Shit. <laughs> now I know what's going on, a trial. Well. Okay. Um. Can you read my thoughts? No. Should I be able to? Well, I was going to let you in on what happened. Okay. <laughs> but if you can't, don't worry. So what is my first trial? You, you've just done it. It was that. It, it was that, Cap. It, 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 was, was, it was that, yes. It was to kill Max. No, well, free well, Max. I am. Um, well, it was to free Max, I, I yes. I technically passed the trial, not to play, uh, Cap. Okay. You, okay. you need. Look, my name. <laughs> what is your name? Max. I was. My name is Max. My uh, the password is Max. I know it's not very inventive, but only kind-hearted individuals would ask. No, uh... no, you're, 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 that's entirely fair. I think it was quite inventive. You know, it's a big, scary skull. You were an adorable creature. Uh, at the end of the day, uh, people wouldn't get the connect that. I think it was very inventive. Mm, thank you. Um, okay. Don't put yourself down. Um, <laughs> apologies about this. I think that Cat obviously hasn't been informed about this situation, um, as you believed she should be. Can I ask what would be the normal circumstance that she would be in her current position? Well, from the words that I was told that a sorceress would be chosen and sent to her first trial. To the mountains here of Skyhold. The, right. Here she would complete a task put before her to inquire regarding my name. Only if she was kind hearted would she succeed. Huh. Well, okay. Well, it I was, mean... as I was told, an escort quest. Oh. Kay just mutters under his voice, oh, those are always. Because <laughs> are always shit. Um, okay. Well, that's... Right. Okay, that's... So, now what then? Now it's completed, does... Do what, does Cytania get something? Um... Yes? It's below. Uh, oh. Right, and do you know where the next trial is? I was never told that far. I was turned into a rabbit before I knew. Will you come below with us, or is this as far as you can go? I'm... I'm technically dead. Oh, I'm sorry to hear oh. that. No, don't be. Um, my... Fa uh, my descendants who guarded this place before seem to have perished as well. And oh, well, that, that, I'm going to oversee that. taking them home. Okay. Wait, 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 sorry, you said you're descendants. Does that mean you're the big skull? I once was. Oh, that's... You seem a lot bigger than your descendants. Um... We did get smaller after the fall. Oh. oh. Yeah. I have a oh, question. Very about... interesting. Go on. The one who wanted How... to drop me off of a roof. Well, you were being a bit... Come on, Max. Um, How did you get this big skull in through the small door? It was here before. I think it when was the rest before. of the body? It's just the skull. Do, were you just a skull in life? There was more of me. But, but they only brought had the skull here and built the keep around it. That yeah. doesn't... The rest of me are in the mountains. Why would they oh. do that? I don't know. How would they get the skull in the door? How would they get the rest of me in the door? <laughs> You're have you right. tried asking would, that would... question? <laughs> It would have been a much larger ask to then build it around the entire body. Because if, if this is just a skull, I assume the body was massive. Um, well, don't be quick, mean. Uh, <laughs> can I ask a potentially insensitive question, Max? Right. Go on. <laughs> uh, how attached are you to your giant skull's teeth? 
me. No! <laughs> I just wanted something to remember, Max, by. <laughs> Make me a persuasion check. <laughs> oh, Christ. Fucking hell. <laughs> Uh, I'm going to pop my inspiration here. Oh, oh no! <sighs> yes! Okay. He one. <laughs> you may take one. And no as to the answer to the rest of you asking. Thank you. I'm going to take... I, I would never, uh, I'll show you. I'm going to take a big sharp one. <laughs> I... What would this be, Ancient Giant Tooth? Uh, this would be Ancient Giant Tooth, yeah. Okay. Oh. I... Mark down Cat... in your inventory, unknown price. Cat's gonna basically hug the skull, well, as best as she can, a giant skull. Okay. And just say, thank you. You're welcome. Oh, okay. and there should be a mural on the hand. I don't know if it's my hand, I don't remember. <laughs> okay. Oh, thanks. And no, Thank you may you. not try and pry any of the fingernails off. I'm not, I wasn't going to suggest that. I've got my memento that I'd like to have. I, 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 I we're good. I, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to be insensitive. I, I, I just, I, I'm, I'm just gonna like whisper at the wall. Look, I know the cat's gonna miss you, because of course she will. Yeah. So I just wanted to do something nice, ish. I know. Look, I know I'm a bit weird. I understand. I hope you like the treat, by the way. It was memorable. Okay, so I've got to go through here. I mean, it kept me safe, if anything were to happen. Have you by any chance uh, seen a goose? Not for a long time. Hmm. Mm. And I am thousands of years old, but, you know. Maybe the goose is dead, guys. Maybe, Never maybe. give up hope. If the goose is dead, should we cook the goose and have a feast? Providing it's still good. I wonder if they'd still accept it if I brought it back dead. Well, Wait. You know. mm -hmm. well, so, Kay. If it died, would it just die or would it go back? <laughs> That's yeah. a good question. Okay, throughout this entire experience, while everyone's having this kind of heartfelt moment, you're standing there with rabbit guts covered in covering your body, <laughs> as the ra as you were carrying the sack of bomb or rabbit bomb in your hands <laughs> that exploded into just blood and guts that spray you and the nearby walls, which it now has begun to sunk sink down on and dissipate very quickly. It will clean you. But it was a disturbing experience as you turn back and see the rest of your party otherwise having this memorable moment of Max while you've just been covered in him. <coughs> Guys! Mm? I got exploded by rabbit. I just turns around and sees bits of Max on the... <laughs> <laughs> Throws up rainbow in the corner. <laughs> When you say that he exploded, uh, he are we exploded. Talking... We're talking like someone put a bomb inside of Max. Mm. Uh. Are there any ears or no? Let's say a <laughs> a foot that is no, lucky. No, there is nothing. Are you sure? Yes. <laughs> I'm pretty certain that it's a Fantasy Friday. It's and not we are on technically my technically in a cemetery. It's not Fantasy Friday. It's a Sunday, and also it's not on my list of loops. So no, it's not one here. <laughs> Okay. Worth a try. Shall, shall, shall we progress then? Uh, yes. I Let's... guess we've got to do whatever this, or get whatever this reward is. Right. I'm we gonna got... send Tula to go and sort of help Kay clean up a little bit. Okay. Kay's just gonna say to the voice. Well, at least it's nice to put a voice to the glimmer. You get this faint sense of almost like confirmation as you gather the spirit has left, given it, has not, it was not addressed shortly after all this took place. But I'll say during the conversation while this happened, you approached that. And yeah, I wanted to, to say that. I just didn't want to cut off. Everybody. No, that's fine. That's... Okay. 
Let's let's go on then. I go sort of like cat cat is pushing Romulus before her, but she is very emotional right now. She's lost her Max and she loved Max. I have some blood here of Max if you would like to have it. <laughs> it just makes it worse. It's it's just, still crying even more. It's just turning to ash in his hand. Can't. I wonder if I can eat some before it goes. I know you were fond of Max, but his spirit is free now. Who knows how long he would have been trapped in that form without you coming to his rescue now. That's so true. Stupid cousin, stupid cricket, stupid stuff causes everything that I'd like to die. Don't die. Uh, don't worry, you're much more likely to die before I do. <laughs> Thanks. You're welcome. Let's just go. Oh shit, I keep thinking on the other part. I'm see, such a good dad. See Max's work done to the completion at least. Yes, I am obviously traveling. Uh, do you want me to go in front or is this a thing where you need to go first? Because I'm um, more than happy to go in to I'll, go first. I'll go it. first. I've got to text magic up as well, so yeah, I'll be keeping right. an eye out for anything that potentially uh, might explode in our face. Her, Vinny and Kay, what are you doing in this time? Well, K is. Uh, I was just gonna say, K, K is gonna step off and see if the trap starts charging again. Yes, it does. K is going to stand here. Okay, as you stand back on it, I need to roll a d20 because you did it after shortly after it started recharging. Nope, it doesn't successfully recharge. I can't leave. Nice you can't just UK. stay here. The, the trap will recharge. <laughs> it goes for an out. Oh wait, I can just activate it again with the thingy. Oh, yeah. I don't know. Since I'll just pick up it. the... Is there any, any small rocks around here? Uh, give me an investigation check. Uh, ten. Ten? Yeah, quite easily. There's a small rock you can pick up. I mean, this place is damaged. Okay. Right. Since we found ourselves behind the rest of the group, uh, were you trying to get my attention earlier? Oh, I was going to discuss what my plan to try and have to spell magic on, on Max to see if something happened. Uh. <laughs> you can try now. I will say yes, yes, it would have. It's oh. the best we didn't then, in that case. Yeah. Right then, shall we? Yeah. Okay. This dungeon is weird. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. As Cat, as you're leading the way, the area before you opens up. As you can see, what looks to be very overgrown, <clears throat> massive, leafy plants ahead of you. You can hear the sound of slowly dripping water. Okay. I'm gonna... I'm gonna put my hand out that Cychania's on and see if there's... Do you, do you have any pull or desire in this place? Any intuition? Cychania looks back but doesn't react, kind of shaking her head. Okay. Well, I guess we'll just keep progressing then. Uh... How hard is it going to be to move through all this? Uh, it looks like it's fairly dense leaves. You could probably push them push them apart, but you're not sure how thick they are. You can't see past them. Mm. From this, would you be able to help here? I can help uh, open the way for you. I, I don't think we should cut any of these since... Well, I don't know. It could be something useful or True. important or natural. or I don't care, really. Um, okay. So I'm going to go forward and sort of pull things aside to help Cat get through. Okay. Pulling things aside, you quite easily lift the leaves as you reveal the remainder of the ch of the chamber beyond. So you make it here as Cat, you are here. As you see before you, with the light illuminating the way, what looks to be a pretty massive body of water extending outwards and beyond. You can see otherwise the 
drips of water have formed the uh, stalactites. Uh, which way? Down. Going down? Stalactites, yes. Yes, yes. as you see stalactites have formed and the water has dripped and kind of pulled down. Uh, Kay, where you've otherwise pushed the, uh, pushed the front over here, you can see what looks to be the edge of the cave on this side. Okay. He said to look out for a mural. Um, can we look around for that? Uh, give me a perception check. Vinny and Curve, you two move mm -hmm. up and you can see the kind of very natural, large leafed plants ahead of you. Uh, I believe that is a 14. 14, okay. Oi! Looking ahead with the 14, you can see what looks to be a faint glow in the distance of what looks Holy to be shit. an orb atop a dais. Not far from where you currently are. A distance, granted but illuminating the far edge of the cave with what looks to be fingers almost curling around it. How the fuck did we not notice that how, before now? How <laughs> high is the ceiling above this? Um, It's quite high. It looks to be... Because you came down a little ways and it has naturally spiralled down for this section of it. It's probably about 40 feet up. Okay. How deep's the water? I have... Uh, You're unsure. Well, say with the perception I check have... you look down, you can't quite tell. I have an idea. I am going to come over to the wall. Mm -hmm. I'm going to cast spider form and I'm going to go magic. Round. Oh yeah, let's go. How exciting is this? Do not explode. Give us that no, one. Right. We're good. Okay. Oh. We are good. As you cast gonna... spider form, your magic kind of imbuing you, you note your legs begin to form and then they begin to be pulled away as the plant nearest you glows blue for a second and you watch as your magic is drained away the spell has been countered holy oh. shit these are anti-magic plants <sighs> i love okay. them i'm gonna i'm just how deep do you think this water is i don't know you can see what looks to be a sheer cliff that would go from this to the water below about 15 feet climb wise but it is wet as the recent rainfall has affected this area Right. Um, I'm going to get out 50 foot of rope and tie it to one of these plants, I guess. If whatever looks thickest and strongest. Do, I, do they seem like the they plants, can hold You said they were massive. The plants are massive themselves, but they're mostly leaf. They aren't like a hard, woody stem. If you apply enough weight, you could probably snap these plants quite easily. Right. Um, Vinny, could you... Uh, Vinny, Curve, could you come over here and help me hold... Uh, hold this uh, in place. I'm going to take this, um, this sure. rope um, mm -hmm. and give it to them and also see if there's any way to affix it to the wall over here. Vinny, you had some pitons? Uh, yes, I have a few left over. Okay. Could we... Ting, ting, ting. Yeah. Easily enough, you secure a piton to the wall, tie the rope around it, and you begin to rappel down with the aid of... Um, Curve and Vinny making sure that things do not get bad. And so, keeping a, a strong hold on the rope, I'm going to mm -hmm. let my body slip into the water. Do I float, first of all? And if not, do I touch the bottom? You do float. And no, you do not touch the bottom. But as you otherwise reach the edge of the kind of the, the cliff edge, as it were, here, you get close to the water and you know that there is a very thin layer of what looks to be mist almost rolling across it, obscuring whatever may be beneath. And as you kind of dip, dip into the water, the water is cold, freezing so. And you begin to feel this chill run through you as you take oh. three points of cold damage. But that is only on entry. And you feel like your body begins to slowly adjust to the temperature. But it's thicker than you'd like. It's not it's quite water. It's pretty cold. What do I, can I work out what I think it is? Um, I'll say I go will be ahead, relaying this information to Go Kat, ahead and roll me a nature check here. It's a plus one, so gotta roll high. Mm -hmm. Uh, ten. <laughs> ten. Nice you, and average. You are unfamiliar with what this might be. It looks like water, and as you otherwise kind of begin to swim around it, it feels thicker. It's not thick like tar or treacle, 
but it's thicker like somebody has added a thin layer of oil to this could i could i pop some in one of my uh, cataloger jars yeah sure i don't know what to call it uh but i'm going to just say call it jar of misty liquid and then if you want to put in the effects or the description for it acquired from abandoned giant fortress so, are you floating under your own normal buoyancy, or just I'm I'm floating under my buoyant? own. I I feel like I like it is more buoyant than normal because of its thickness. At the same time, I am confident that uh, I if this was normal water, I'd float under my own buoyancy. So I I think I think we're probably good either way. Hmm. Sorry, was it acquired from abandoned giant fortress? Fortress. Okay. Would you be able to swim over? Oh, I can't. What's the point of me trying to? Oh, and then I'll climb over the rope. I, I'm never climbing. We rope, do not have that here. much rope. We do not have that mm. much rope. Uh. Oh. Also, before we leave, uh, please remember to either take a cutting or like a sketch of the of the plants here. Uh, we will definitely want to tell the catalogers about this also maybe take some seeds or cuttings if we can i'm gonna i'm gonna take a cutting of the leaf you maybe uh, wait till after you get to the hand I can't, actually that's a good point if these things start trying to kill us i would rather have gotten what we get here for first okay how confident do we feel about I'm just how, so aware how high of out how of the water is his hand? Uh, it emerges out of the water by a, probably a good three, four feet. You could potentially climb it if you were able to get a good footing, but you aren't sure how shallow or deep it is closer to the hand itself. Okay. <laughs> I, I, I'm going to take a... If people are able to help cat lower herself because i can't cast these spells because apparently the plants like to eat my spells um mm -hmm. robbie this can you teach me to swim fuck it yeah let's give it a go i'm going to try and teach oh, cat to swim <laughs> okay i guess the pitten holds as Cat uses the rope alongside Vinny and curves assistance as cat reach is the as you reach the water cat you feel strangely buoyant. Uh, and also an answer to your uh, question there, Kay. Uh, yes, you are able to do so, as you otherwise dig your metal claws into the stone. You are able to pull yourself up and try and climb the wall. It'll take you a very long time to get around, as you are otherwise making your own hand holdings with your hands, but or your claws, but it would be possible. Meanwhile, cat, as you are, as you are in here. Um, also, something else that I probably should have mentioned: uh, your concentration on detect magic ends. Yeah, I, I imagined it did when. Mm -hmm. Thing. Okay, shall we attempt this? Let's give it a go. So, the fur as you are going to be, as you have the requisite number of limbs here, we're going to be attempting what's known as a doggy paddle. Um, but I would also suggest leaning forward as best you can to spread out your mass as much as you can and uh, provide some forward thrust with uh, your using your hands as paddles. Uh, is this all right with you? Uh, Doesn't matter, do it. And I'm, we're going to I'm going to try and stay upright because I'm worried about being very front heavy. Mm -hmm. uh, but I am going to use my hands to try and paddle. Go ahead and make me an athletics check, please, cat. Can I assist? And Romulus, I will let you assist, yes. I uh, can either provide that advantage or I can roll something. I don't uh, know. I'll say roll separately. I'll say your own DC has increased because you are el you are helping uh cat swim here, but it is still possible. So cat, go ahead and roll. I'm good. Uh cat, remember that you have disadvantage because you are exhausted. Well, that's still a 12. Nice. And I've got a 33. Okay. 
with <laughs> with Romulus helping you across, you swim quite confidently in this water, Romulus, as you are feeling like there's an extra layer of buoyancy. And for you, Cat, there's an unexpected amount of buoyancy in this water, as you otherwise do float forward for the most part, doggy paddling all the way as your feet meet on solid ground close to the base of the dais here. Okay, it's, is there any writing, symbols, scripture? Looking at it, yes, there is indeed. Um, you look around, all time. you can see what looks to be written in giant. Uh, what looks to be two pieces of information that catch your attention. Uh, the first of which says, A sorceress cannot stand alone. If she does, she will be overcome by sorrow. And then okay. after that, you see written, To last in this world, a legacy must be made for themselves. But proving strength is not the only way to leave an ageless mark. Okay, I am. I am going to. So, what what's going on with this mural? Let's have a have a look at the mural. By the looks of it, the the mural it says with the writing is just the the first bit of that. The sorceress cannot stand alone. And then you see above it, in what looks to be kind of this uh, kind of raised pillar platform, upon it sits a large kind of red crystal which hovers there, glowing with a very strong resonant magic. Okay. Okay, can I approach the crystal? Mm-hmm. I'm not going to try and snatch it. I'm going to put my hands on it and... As a fee, I'm going to look at the rest of the party. I'm going to thank Max for all of his help and see if Cyrenia reacts to it, the crystal at all or if it moves but as you place your hands on either side of the crystal there is a moment where Cyrenia begins to grow warm and begins to wrap around the red crystal as Cyrenia's head taps the edge of it there is a glow of red light that shoots through Cyrenia, covering Cyrenia what looks to be more of these runes along the plates, as they grow, not tendrils, but almost spines along the edge of the plates themselves. Runes and arcane begin to draw, upon, uh, draw across them momentarily, but cease at the second plate. And in that moment, you feel Cyrenia grow stronger, but a urging and a pulling on your magic. Do you attune to Cyrenia, yes or no? Um, yes. Okay. Please update Cyrenia with the following item. Super Murder Death Blast! <sighs> Separate. Um, it's a 16-side object with a faint glow to it. That's uh, about the size of a small apple. Wide. As this happens, notably, for the rest of you, as the crystal dissipates and conjoins with Cyrenia, you watch as the fingers begin to crack and twist, and they slowly begin to crumble the sound of small rocks falling into the water around you. Romulus and Cat, what would you like to do? Sorry, uh, please explain. <clears throat> Describe to me what is happening to the water around. Uh, the, finger, the fingers which currently hold up this platform are currently cracking and bending, as if falling backwards into the water, with small chips falling behind off of them. Right. Obviously, this place is not really my whole thing, but it is a giant -y thing as far as I can tell. 
Uh, before we leave, is there anything here that feels important to me? To you? Mm. Not particularly. You sense, like, being in the presence of Cat, there's almost this draw of magic. Like, something has affected you. Well, You're not entirely Cat sure what. would have been what, holding but... Rhombus's hand. Yeah. So, in this instance, like... you, you first, you've definitely felt Sychania grow in power. And you feel like a small portion of that has otherwise conjoined with your hands. As you look at the back of your palm and, uh, or the back of your hand and your palm, you can see what looks to be almost these slight burn marks, which begin to fade very quickly of almost these roots. And as you begin to read the writing of what you can see on the, otherwise the uh, neural before you, you can perfectly read the wording even though it's written in giant. Oh, excellent. Could I, could I, like, get a, a thing of what it says? I want to remember this. Oh, it's in the, um... Uh, in the uh, group chat. Oh, it's the To Last in This World of Legacy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, there is the bit before that as well, which I'll also post, but that's more of just a... Cuckoo, cuckoo, cuckoo. Okay. There we go. We, we should probably move. Yeah. As it begins to crack and crumble around you, the rock shakes and the fingers twist back and away. Um, Let's... Get out of here. <clears throat> uh, everything okay over there? Look, I don't know what to tell you, Vinny. Weird magic stuff. It is what it is. Mm -hmm. It uh, is what it is. You begin to travel across. Go ahead and roll me athletics checks, you two. Can I have advantage because she knows how to swim now? <laughs> <laughs> oh, so she hasn't learned how to swim. I'll say she's not going to have disadvantage on this roll despite being exhausted. Okay. Well, that's two 19s anyway, so we know what you got. And Romulus. Uh, it's only a 13. That's fine. I'm, at this point, I'm kind of just tired. Like, that's oh. fine. The two of you are the way swimming across the water fairly successfully. Kay, uh, have you landed back here or are you still climbing? Oh, I got down as soon as I. Tried. I just wanted to see if I could. Ah, okay. Fair enough. Okay. As you otherwise... You are going to say? I, I was mostly trying to investigate the plants. I was tempted to try and eat one. Well, as Romulus and Cat begin to climb the rope, uh, Vinny and Curve, you watch as the plants begin to bend towards Cat, as if drawn towards her. Okay. Uh, Cat, just so you're aware, for when you get up here, you appear to be the plant queen now. <laughs> it's probably fine. If they hurt you at all, I will rend them into nothingness. Okay. As, as I get up, I'm going to be cautious of the fact that I'm now a plant queen. I'll, I'll go up first in order to help Cat up. But the rumble, I'll say K, as you're taking note of this, the hand has submerged into the water entirely, and you note that a large cracked seam has appeared along the back of the cavern and across the ceiling. Oh shit, we gotta to get spread. out of here. As you pull Cat up, I'll say without issue because there's enough of you trying it. Cat, the leaves begin to reach towards you and wrap around your arms. As this happens... Uh, go ahead and make me a strength... No, don't worry about making a strength save. My attack roll was a natural 20. The leaves are restraining you. And the plants are preventing you from moving. At this point, you can begin to all feel kind of... Or hear the sound of stones falling into the water nearby. Yep. Nope. Uh, I'm going to... <laughs> Um, I'm going to cast Bait and Switch to get myself into Cat's position. Cast Bait and Switch. <laughs> Romulus is now a caster. Hey, <laughs> cast okay, you know, You know what I, I mean. I know what you like, mean, yeah. Okay, pulling I, I, Cat I, I, free for that moment. Cat is and I, pulled go, away. Go, run! As the plants wrap around you for a moment, beginning to wrap around your palm before They're beginning like... to slowly peel off. Yeah, fuck off. Um, and then I am immediately going to start to go, oh, I'm, I'm taking me some clippings, and I'm going to wail on them uh, okay. with my hand axe. Okay, you uh, take a swing of your hand axe I... versus their AC? No problem. You take a nice big cut of the leaf, and immediately you watch as all of the plants turn red. 
Okay, um, that was a mistake. Wrong. At this at this instance, I would have said Cat would have moved, given the whole situation, and Vinny and Curve, mm -hmm. I imagine you two would have moved out of the radius. Mm -hmm. uh, Kay, you were going to bite one, so you do so, as you see Romulus taking a swing. In this moment, the plants turn red, and in that moment, there's an immediate feeling of a burning sensation within you. Um... K, you have spell points to lose, so this will not be taken away from your hit points. This will be taken away from your spell points. Oh, fuck. As K, you take... Oh, K, that's 23 spell points you would lose. Oh. Oh. Does the access come from my health? Yes, it does. Okay, because I don't have that many. Yeah. <laughs> and Romulus, you take 23 points of force damage as you feel this burn sear across your body i'm not I... dead yet i'm just exceedingly close to it no but in that instance uh, after that initial burn of burst of red the plants fade back to green fair enough i'm leaving i'm okay. still carrying the one i cut off yes you are i'm putting it in a jar and k you have <laughs> bitten the leaf uh go ahead and roll me damage to see how many charges of this you get I'm also going to pop a second wind, just letting you know. So it's just a d6 for the uh, for the bite? Yeah, and just give me a sec. That's right. Uh, I just wanted to make sure I got my HP in before... Before forgetting. Else. Yep, no, that's quite right. Five. Five? Okay. You gain three charges of mana burn. Uh, mana burn, for the purposes of what it does, when you activate it, your next attack will remove 2d12 spell points from the target, excess damage going over to the uh, to the HP of the creature. Mana burn is, a, is an ability that cannot be gained permanently. This is what I'm calling an ethereal ability. Use it wisely. I will. You get three charges of this. And that's 2d12 spell points. Okay, with the rest of you moving, I'll say rushing out at this point with very little obstruction, you rush past out into the area beyond. Okay. I can see a little bit ahead and I'm fully aware of where Kay kept standing because of the recharge. Can I slap there with a the mage hand as we're moving towards it? Okay, you slap it with it, a mage hand? I, I just want to say I'd like to hold a reaction for this if the... If the mage hand doesn't set it off, I'm throwing a rock before we get there. Okay. I'm throwing D rock. Yeah. The mage hand slaps the ground and does nothing as it is not a uh, functioning living creature to react to it. So the rock, on the other hand, giving applying enough weight and pressure as you throw it, sets off the cliff. So I believe the hand can only apply like a tiny amount of weight. So it has like a strength uh... score of one. Yeah, I can. I don't. I haven't got my hand open to know specifics, but yeah, yeah. it's it's not gonna be much. Uh, as this is happening, there is a crashing sound from behind you as the entrance to this once cave has now collapsed in on itself. Is this building still collapsing or collapsing in? You get a sense the building seems to be okay for now. Okay. Hmm. Well, let's let's get out of here. Yeah, we should probably still move. Okay. Avoiding the trap that was in the way and moving up into the area above. You exit back out into the area where you can now be continue to hear the strong winds and the strong rain as it continues to fall from the heavy falling of this. The doors are still closed and it is at this time that you begin to hear more rumbling from below. As you watch as bits of floor tile in the far corner of the room begin to peel away and this pillar disappears below to the cavern that has now begun to collapse. Romulus! How tall is this building? Um, from where you currently are or from the top top? No, no from the top. Uh, probably about 30, 40 foot. Mm -hmm. That did I Actually, have no. it? 20, 25 foot, sorry. 25, 30 foot, sorry. I... I did. Oh, very good. Just up. Up and over the wall. Uh, up and over the wall. 
Okay. Up and over I, I assume you've got a plan, yeah. Okay, running up and over, you begin to watch as sections of this far end over here begin to crack and split going inwards. You note, as you otherwise look around, that the giant skeletons have begun to crumble into ash at this point. Okay. Um, over the wall. When and we tell people about this, we're going to tell them it was already ruined, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, okay. Cool. Um, as we go over, I am going to cast Featherfall. Okay, so you're all jumping over the wall? Um, Fuck it, sure. Yeah, beat Kat says she has a plan. I will hang out back a second uh, to make sure that everyone else gets past before I go down. Uh, I'll, I'll Within the same action, but like I'll be bringing up the rear because I'd yeah. rather okay. make sure everyone gets off and doesn't need help or anything. Yeah, mm -hmm. I think Curve would require a push because she would not trust. <laughs> not trust care of this. Okay. With a... With a Gentle general nudge from Romulus. Uh, curve, you go uh, ass over tea kettle as you spin down with Featherfall being cast on you. Kay, you were going to do something? I was going to say that I surf Romulus. <laughs> you surf a Romulus, okay. As you otherwise glide down to the ground below, you then begin to note cracks spreading out from the fortress itself to the nearby area. Shit, run! <laughs> Run right. or glide at this? No, you know what? As we're falling, I'm gonna take, I'm gonna take out my tent and use it to get some, uh, get spirit. some air. <laughs> Dude, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna like kick off the wall. So link paragliding this. bullshit. Okay. Um, okay. Getting a bit of distance, you manage to get a little bit away from the fortress, and you continue to run. Moments pass as you continue to run on the early portion of the day. Still, still very much about as you begin to watch as the fortress itself crumbles inwards into whatever hole this may be below. And you watch as there's this surge of bright, bright energy. Iridescent and rainbow in all manner of colours, blending and blurring together as a shoot of this energy shoots upwards, spiralling into the air for the moment before meeting the clouds where it spreads out Blues, reds, and orange lightning begin to crackle across the sky above as there is a sudden surge of arcane energy. How am I feeling with all this happening? Um, you're feeling fine. Surprisingly, any symptoms that you would otherwise feel have numbed. Hmm. As the energy meets with the clouds and begins to shoot outwards, creating more and more of this bright lightning. It eventually dissipates as you hear the cracking and the crumbling of the fortress as it settles into what now looks like toppled ruins on a barren stone wasteland of the mountainside. And that... So again, we, we tell them it was, or it was like this when we found it, right? And that is where we're going to end our session for tonight. So thank oh. you for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed, and we will hopefully... Uh, have we got everybody next week, or...? Um, yes. Uh, let me check my schedule. I should be good for next week. The week after, I am almost definitely not going to be available, because I will be down south. And that's that fine, we can... Hard. That's, that's fine, we can take the... Um, we can take the second off. Oh yeah, that's right, we had plans for secondary. So yeah, we can take the second off. So, for the stream, thank you for watching, hopefully you enjoyed, and we will see you next time. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.